and we are live now. We are live. Yo. We are live. All right. Hang on. I think we'll well, that we might Sorry. have lost Charles. Cool. Charles, you still for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, still okay. oh. We have got him. There we go. You were, just yeah. you were, stare- were you staring that whole time? I thought he was doing a mime trick. No, no, I uh-huh. wasn't. I, like, sometimes I do do that for fun, but I wasn't actually yeah. pretending to freeze. I was you did freeze. such a good... It was because of the cackle at the end. I thought, oh, he's uh, he's been hadding us on. Anyway, why, hi, everyone. I just look. Thought- yeah, before, hi, yeah. <laughs> before uh, before we started filming there, why did you take like fifty jackets off your door and put them on the bed? Oh, only because it just looks a bit distracting. Because oh, right, I've got okay. this new wide angle lens, which I wish I knew the name of, because then maybe they'd give me a sponsorship deal. Not that I could fucking. I'm, like once I've got one camera, I don't need any others. <laughs> what was wrong with the other camera, the other webcam? So uh, I am using a new computer, which yeah. I hope A works and B means uh, I w- I won't be the one dropping out and. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's got a uh, a lens built into this. is fascinating for the uh, for yeah, the it, Keep it brief. Keep it <laughs> yeah, brief. Exactly. <laughs> Basically, there's a there's a camera built into the keypad. Um, the desi- the idea being so that people can't even if someone does hack your webcam, they can't turn it on because it's inside the keyboard. If that makes sense. Oh right, yeah. But when you point it up, I thought, oh, it's going to have a. Uh, you know, some sort of crazy fisheye camera that means it, you can still look normal. But no, it's just up your nose the whole time. <laughs> If I want to look chin, into the chin camera, view, yeah, yeah, it's very, it's very like, oh god, this is this is a couple of months of not hitting the gym every day. <laughs> um, so, uh, um, yes, I just decided that was mad, particularly when we're trying to see. It was more for this than anything else because I thought I, to look at the camera, it's going to be really distracting for you if you're up my, looking at my nose the whole time. <laughs> so I would have to look into the lens, but then I can't see what you guys are doing. Right? Yeah, I, yeah, it's too low. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell! I know. I was like, who designed this? Why do they? <laughs> who, who did this? Yeah, yeah. It's always one of these things. You go, who signed off on this? Who went? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah. How many I people did that pass through that yeah. to question it? And yeah, is this it's viable? not even the dude that designed it. It's the guy. Yeah. It's the two or three people who went. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. The investors, yeah, the money men. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is my cash. Prove to me why this works. Where is nobody else on the market doing this? Tell me why. Yeah. And you go. And yeah, like, got, this is why. It still got through. <laughs> um, like, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. What have you got in your mug today? Uh, is this alcoholic? Oh, you went for a coffee. Yeah, no. This is a. This is coffee. Coffee. I went into a shop the other day, and it was one of those. I thought, right, remember this for a scene in a comedy. It was one of those, like, where life is just, you're taking the piss. Yeah. Where I went in to get a sandwich, and um, it was like a sausage roll and... A sausage what? roll sandwich? Yeah, a sausage roll, like a roll with a sausage in it. And Oh, okay, right. And I can't remember the other one. Oh, cheese and tomato sandwich. Right, so two yeah. rolls. One had sausage in it, one had cheese and tomato. Oh. And it was early- So far, so good. Yeah. Yeah. And um, next, there was a, like an apple Danish, right? So there's two people serving. One of them's sort of the one that's doing the cooking sort of thing. And there's a woman out. One of them, she goes, the woman that's at the till, she goes, no, the, the, the other woman comes out first. And she says, yes. oh, what would you like? And I said, can I have the sausage roll? Um, she, oh, hard, hard roll, soft, said the soft roll. And can I have the cheese and tomato soft roll as well? Right? Simple. And she goes out the back. To do it, she grabs some sausages, goes out the back. Oh, so these weren't like ready made, these are no, they, yeah, they're out. Yeah, just on the menu. Okay, so the other woman says, Okay, that'll be so and so. Do you want anything else? And I said, Yeah, can you give me one of those apple Danish things? Yep, the other woman comes out, carb loading, obviously. Yeah, so the other woman comes out, (laughs) gives me the stuff, uh, and then I've I've paid for it. She puts the other woman, puts the other thing in the bag, they wrap it up, put it in the bag, and I leave. I'm, I'm down the motorway, I've pulled off, I've come off, I've stopped for a bit. So I'm now 20 minutes away. I've opened it up. The hard, the, the soft roll, like I yeah. said, quite, there's no cue in there. It was just me. The soft roll had turned into a hard roll. Okay. The sausage was one sausage. Oh, that's a bit and cheap. The, the cheese and tomato roll in the hard roll that I didn't ask for just had cheese in it. I ate them th- trying to get through a fucking hard, crusty fucking yeah, that's roll. Yeah, you want. You it need... doesn't, especially when there's nothing in it. I'm going, I'm just ripping bread here. <laughs> I then open the fucking bag with the, the apple Danish and there's a, a, a jam donut in it. Oh. <laughs> Just, the, and that's two people. And it, for five seconds, I went, that didn't look like they were taking the piss. Like, did I know them from, that's not, that, the odds of the stupidity there are so high. That's just, not, that's just not giving a shit because they know you're getting in your car, you're not coming back. But you go, I don't know what just happened there. Like, I want to go back and go, do you know what? Just for, I'll waste the money just to find out what happened. I won't be angry. When I said to you, heart soft roll, (laughs) 
why did you go to hard roll? And she might say, look, I've had a breakup, blah, blah, blah. I go, right, that's calmed me down a little bit. Why did you not put the tomato? <laughs> didn't you hear me say tomato? Okay, well, also, she's didn't idiot. you write the menu that morning? Yes, yeah, something. <laughs> it's only and the two sausage. Yes, yeah, surely the sausage roll, that was £2.50. Surely you get more than one sausage. It was split in two, but it was oh, still that's less. Still, that's, no, that's still cheap. It that's was less cheap. than half of the roll. Yeah, no, and that's then, getting, trying to get away with it. And then to go, right, that's you done. Okay, you had a breakup, your mum died. I go, do you know what? I'll let it go. Then on to the other woman. You know when I said the apple Danish? How did that <laughs> jump to a jam donut? If she's, I wanted to go, do you know what? Once I was at a club and you pissed me off and you threw me out. And I go, fair enough. And now I can leave happy. I know what the rules, what happened. But just, I, it's not going to be any of that. It's going to be, I oh, didn't hear you. Didn't hear you. Well done. Sorry. I'm, 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 I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Yeah. Or, ju- I'm or stupid. just you said it. Just you said oh, that. Yeah, uh, yeah you I'm, said those things. Yeah. <sighs> the sandwich. I say the sandwiches is the worst because the the sausage one is cheap. But there's that's, three things that's... there. There's three things there. There's no tomato when I asked you. You said hard soft roll. I, you asked me, and I mm. said soft roll. Then the sausage was just hot. Just and it's two pound fifty. It's not like a quid fifty. You go the so- and then to go onto your mate, which like really turns the screw. That they're taking the piss, and it's just one of those things where it's like. But I did. I had. I, it was ca- it counteracted. I remember a few months ago, I had a good time in um, uh, Tesco first thing in the morning. <laughs> Whereas um, it was it was nice. Uh, I just no, love it that. Does. I had I'll a just good be honest. Time in the Tesco. Yeah, was, for once, I had a good time. Yeah, it was yeah, first thing. It. it was first thing in the morning, and it was just it was perfect because everything lined up, and I could see the problem coming. So I just okay. milked the problem, knowing that I was going to win in the end. Where I went into. Um, Tesco's Metro or Express, whatever they call it, and I bought a load of stuff, like um, like a load of packets of stuff, like a quite yeah. a ba- like a bag full, and it's at Metro, and there's nobody in there, and I walk in, and it's just this lazy, young, idiot-looking security guard on his phone, and I always take notes of security guards. So I'm walking in, and I think, right, I could just grab that, grab that, grab that, and he knows nothing. He's pointless. Why are you always taking notes of the security guards? I don't know. It's just like, to see if they're doing the job properly, because I did it for so long. I'm always seeing how useless... Is it, is it not people. just your criminal instinct? Your, your, from a your little bit of life. that, yeah. I do, I do notice things, yeah. Because I used to be quite good at getting, like, if a few of us would go to shoplift, because you just play on people's prejudices. So if you've got yeah. a black mate, you just send him one direction, looking a bit shifty. And then their eyes immediately sort of lock onto him. And then you could just go along with a trolley just pushing everything in. Isn't that a delightful take... story? <laughs> <laughs> but that's no, because you're playing on the prejudice. You, you know yeah, that. Yeah, oh, there's a black guy. Was he? And then you get him to sort of quickly look up at the security guard. And that's, that's it. The security guard's just 100% focused on. There's nobody else in the shop listing. It's all the black guy. But anyway, so I went in. And he's on his um, phone, just looking down, doing nothing. I come back over the aisle. He's still looking at his phone. And um, so then I'm, I've picked up all my stuff. And I go to... He's there's like three metro tills or whatever you call them, like self service tills, and where he's standing, he's looking directly at my back, like he's literally facing the three tills, and the three tills, if you stood at them, will have your back to the security guard. And I look at him anyway. So and he's still. So why, on his is phone. He, why is he not facing the till? Uh, well, he's facing the tills, but he's looking at fr- at my back. If you see what I mean, because oh, I'm okay, in front right. of him. This doesn't matter, you know, that's just where he's standing. There's nobody in the shop, it's just me. And um, I pay for my stuff, bleep, 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 on card and all that. Um, and then it says, like, do you want a receipt? No. I, I go to walk out, so I'm walking past him, and I see, like, oh, some chewing gums. Let me get some chewing gums. So I get my chewing gums, uh, and I go back. So I've still had my bag on the thing at this time. Mm-hmm. So I just turned around. So I got the chewing gums. I went back. I bleeped them, put them in the bag. And then paid for the, 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 again. Now he's, because he was on his phone, he didn't see me pay for the other stuff. He oh, didn't hear okay. the, he didn't hear the minute of bleep, bleep, bleep. Yeah, Would you like a receipt? Bleep, you think that's bleep. the beep, beep, beep of his yeah, game? Yeah, thank you for your payment, all that. <clears throat> so I pay. So I turn around, I go to walk out and he goes, um, oh, he said, uh, uh, have you got a receipt for all those things? I went, no. I went, right, well, I didn't see you pay for them. And I was like, well, I did. And I, in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, because you're on your fucking phone. You're literally staring where I was, yeah. like eight feet from me. <clears throat> and then he went, well, you, you need a receipt. And I'm thinking, right, he's a, an idiot. I already don't like him just from not being good at his job. Like, he's, my back's already up against. I don't Is like he a him young anyway. guy or like an old yeah, guy? Yeah, about 25. Oh, okay. And um, 
And I started to go, right, I can get you here. I can really take... I didn't like him because he's lazy. Like that, that annoys me. So you have to let it go. But he's presented himself knowing he's in the wrong. Yeah, I that, went, well, that, that would I went, me off. Well, I haven't got a receipt. And he went, uh, oh, I'll have to get the manager. I said, yeah. I said, go and get the manager. Go and get mm. the manager. Mm. So he called the manager over. And the manager, a uh, little Indian fella, come over and said, oh, what's the problem? He said, um, I didn't so see him. So glad you didn't do the voice. Uh, my, heart, no. my heart sank <laughs> just for a second. I thought, here it comes. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't see... Um, I said, I said he, he didn't see me pay for this whole bag of stuff. It was packed, the bag. Yeah. And I went, oh, okay. I said, well, you can go. I haven't got the receipt. Because it, it was asked, did I yeah. want to see? I said, no. Um, and he went, oh, he, he, the guy said to him, oh, do you want to check the tilt? He has to go into the computer or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went, uh, and the, the manager, you could tell, would sort of let it go. Because it didn't look like, you know, it was a bag full of stuff. And so, and I wasn't explaining myself. I thought, I'm just going to sit here. And he was sort of like, um, I think he would have just let it go if I just yeah. said something else. And I went, I said, look, I said, you might as well just go and check. I said, but, and the security goes, right. I said, right, I'll wait. I'm, I've said up to it. I've got absolutely no problem waiting. No problem whatsoever. He was quite friendly, the manager. I said, I'll wait here. So I'm goading it on. I'll wait here. You go and check if I paid for it or not. I said to him, but, I said to the security guard, where were you standing? Because I want him to tell the manager. He said, oh, I was over there. I said, so you were facing me. Yeah. And I said, okay. I said, I'm really happy to, I'll unpack everything now. I said, you can go check. As long as you know that if it comes back, I've paid, or if, if when you come back, either um, I'm going to be a thief or you're incompetent because you just said you were right facing the till. Yeah. So it's one of those two. I said, there's nothing else that can happen here. And I'm being really friendly when I'm saying this, by the way. That's true. But I'm going, that's the, there's nothing else that can happen. Either I am a thief or you're incompetent. And I, and I started taking the things up because I thought the the, the the manager might not let it go, uh, might let it go. So I said, go on, I'll wait here. And I started taking the stuff out. And he went away. And he went. And uh, so I was waiting. I took all the stuff out. And I'm now, like, in a really good mood. Like, I'm actually <laughs> happy. And I'm sitting there. And I'm thinking, I don't want to wind him up because I don't want to ruin the atmosphere. It's quite a good act. Like, I feel like this is good. This is, I don't want to ruin it for me. Because he might say something and then he'll end up on his ass. So I, I said, right. I'm sat there and I packed everything and he went, it, it took him a while to come back out and um, he, uh, he just went, well, you, you should have asked for a seat. Just out of nothing. Like he's yeah. supposed to calm things down. Or the, yeah. He went, well, you should have asked for a seat. And I went, well, there's a function on the computer yeah, that exactly. you work for that yes says, no, would you like yeah. it? I said, you can call, call, I'd contact the CEO of Tesco's, tell him to take it away. And, he, yeah. and then he sucked his teeth and that which made me like giggle because I went, I giggled and I went, fuck mate. I said, I haven't heard anybody suck their teeth for about 20 years. <laughs> and I sort of laughed. Anyway, so the guy came back out and uh, he went through the till. And he, yeah, he was going, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that. And I went, all right. Yeah. And I just walked straight out. And I thought, ah, oh, thanks a lot. Because his look on his face, like, I don't understand. I can't accept that I'm an idiot and I didn't see what yeah, exactly. so He definitely <laughs> didn't pay. I didn't see him pay. Yeah, because you're on your fucking phone. And I thought, oh, that's great. I was, I was hoping there was like a little conversation that went on afterwards where he got the sack. Like, you fucking idiot. You just made a fucking embarrassment of all of you. You said you stood there. You didn't see him pay for a whole bag of fucking... So hopefully he lost his job. And I went back in. <laughs> the next... yeah. fingers, cr fingers crossed. <laughs> no, yeah. but what happens... And I, felt, I feel a bit bad now because the next morning... Uh, it doesn't sound like you feel very bad. No, no, uh, no, no, about myself. I let myself oh, right, down because okay. what happened oh, okay, is, good. You know. no, not yet. <laughs> the next morning, I was going near the area and um, I went in there. I thought I'm going to try and wind this guy up again. So I went in exactly cause I was near the same sort of time. So I went, I was about five streets away and I thought, oh, sorry, I'm going to go in and fucking wind this guy up again. I'm just going to pretend to like shoplift or something like that. And I went in there and he wasn't there. And I thought, oh, fuck me. Uh, and then I was going to go back in the third day to see if he was there to do it again. And on the way, I thought, why am I fucking doing this? Like, what am I doing? Like, this is like, I'm not fucking 25. Why am I fighting? Like, this, uh, this is like stupid. You're letting yourself down. So I didn't go in the third, the second time. But I thought I actually went into the shop to try and sort of antagonise him. And I thought... That's not fucking healthy. Like that's not healthy. Um, but yes, yeah, so I thought, let it go. Fucking what are you do? Why are you? Why just because he's a lazy piece of shit? Like I thought, oh, it wasn't even the fact that he'd accused me. I just thought it was the fact that he's lazy doing a, a job, 
and that's it just annoying me yeah but then the, the the thing that lasted was me thinking why did i go back the second time to that's such a stupid dopey just to hurt like to <laughs> but I thought, oh, it's a little beast of me that's still in there that I should like to fight against something. Um, yeah, but it's not. A, it's not a literal fight, is it? It's no, no. But I just wanted to cause him grief. I wanted to embarrass him more. I wanted to like. I was going to go in there and sort of make him fo- like pretend like I am shoplifting, like just to wind him up even more. Like, but that that's a pathetic. That's a very vindictive. So I thought, oh, that. I mean, I'm it. pretty sure you have a Netflix account, don't you? Like, there's better things to do with your time, with your free time. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, it's a it's a stupid. Like, what what are you looking for? Like, what you you want something to kick off? Like, you needed you? you needed a win. You I needed, needed a win. A, yeah, but it was good enough. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, but so that and, uh, this lockdown, everyone's getting a bit bored. Oh no, this is ages ago. This is way before that. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't have. I would. I would have uh, let uh, Charles. You know that bone he threw you. I would have clung to that theory. Yeah. I would have been like, yeah, yeah, it's definitely lockdown. That's yeah, why yeah, I did lockdown. it. No, you got to be honest. <laughs> but I was, I was saying, yeah, I felt bad about myself because I thought, no, you should have got rid of that. And that still little thing in you, like any sort of like threat, is just you have to crush it, <laughs> ruin it. But um, so anyway, I didn't go That's back the, the third time. You. I, I caught myself the third time. Go, what am I fucking? Why am I going back there? Um, but yeah, so then that but that's got taken away now with that shop incident with like the stupidity. It's the unknown. It's the not knowing annoys me. It's the not knowing of why are you both so stupid. Even if it's just one person. Oh, let's just get off this topic. I don't know how we got onto this. The, uh, so, we um, got onto it because you started. <laughs> you started. <laughs> yeah, just... you said I've got a fun shop story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you had right, two. yeah. And then I'm, I, yeah, I, well, I had a good I'm more about outraged it. by your cheese by your two sandwich years because it's there. It's the skankiness of giving you one sausage in a sandwich. Yeah, two fifty, and then it's the it's how do you fuck up a cheese and tomato? You, you, there's only two ingredients. Yeah, but the, the, mm. then getting the jam roll like it doesn't even uh, the the duck, ruck, jink, jam donut, which I can't fucking stand. I can't the jam thick. Sh- you basically in a pile of sugar. That's what you're eating. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. So I could I took I take one bite. And I thought I don't want this. This is like and I was too far away to go away. Oh, this is <clears throat> so yeah. That got taken away. I can't do stupidity. That's the thing. I can do like somebody who sound looks like they're pissed off or somebody's a bit rude. I, I you get it. Somebody, but I can't do the. The stupidity how do you get through life if you it's that will a... but it's the willful stu you've got to go out of your ever like the whole mixing around the the soft and the hard that's just a like that's just that's I mean, one a little mistake that's, I didn't that's hear you. yeah that's not dotting the eye or that's getting oh you did want two sugars oh i, I yeah, gave you yeah, three yeah. sorry it's yeah, that yeah, yeah. but the willfulness and obviously the sausage thing is a che- is just being cheapskate the 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 i still just cannot get over the cheese and tomato and the and the the, the, the donut thing is bad too that's just i don't give a shit but it's, it's three for three yeah, yeah. i don't you know give a mean. shit it's just like yeah, yeah. we well, sell comedy three things again <laughs> yeah, it's three yeah things. yeah rule of threes it yeah. seems <laughs> like you stumbled into like a 1970s you know uh culture clash uh comedy where you're the the jolly foreigner who's come to dreary old england <laughs> And well, I was, the... I was, I was going to go back in the next day, but um, <laughs> but you were too no, busy going back. No, because I had, to, no, I had to go. Yeah, on yeah. my way to Tesco's, <laughs> I thought I'd, get, I'd knock them all down. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but I literally, I'd learnt my lessons. This is only last week. But I, on the way back, which I had to go past there, and there's nowhere really else to get to eat, so I had to get it there. It's like a service station thing, not on a service station. But um, I thought I don't trust myself not to say something. Not to flip out. So I can't, even though I've done nothing wrong. I, I think I'll go in there. I'm thinking in my head, I'm going to go in there. I might make a comment about it. Then it'll lead into a conversation and I might end up kicking off about your bloody yeah. stupid. You know? So don't go in there. I don't trust myself not to go in there. So um, yeah, I'm starting to learn not to. Anyways. But it's just giving yourself a nosebleed, you know what I mean? Not liter- not necessarily literally, but it's just that, why do you need that? Because then you'll go in, you'll have a go at them, and you won't. they won't change, so nothing will be accomplished. Yeah, I can only look. They're going to lose nothing. You'll be replaying oh, the argument yeah. in your head, and then you'll have I'll the two I'll go in there replays. for a sandwich, and then I come out with a blanket over my head and get the police van. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not saying necessarily, you oh, know, violence. you would have I mean, yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, but, yeah, it's just annoying. Like, I, 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 I was th- thinking, it's like... I try to give people an out. Like, I try to think, well, if there's a queue, it's busy, you don't know. And it's like, it was empty. It's like I'm being poked at for fun. Like, they've got, you know, Mm. when um, uh, uh, Stephen Fry said, um, like, doesn't believe in God and all that. It's fair enough. He said, 
But if they did exist, it would be like the Greeks' gods because you yeah. need to have the anger. You need to have jealousy and vindictiveness and love and you need all that human things. You can't just go, always oh, wonderful. You go, well, that would make more sense that sometimes they are yeah. fucking vindictive yeah. and jealous and hateful. Yeah, if he's, and, well, well, maybe if it's Old Testament God because he's, he's all about the wrath know. and the right. destruction. But I thought, yeah, so there's somebody up there sort of poking me to get like <laughs> <laughs> I oh, mean, anyway. I'm not saying it's entirely narcissistic that you imagine the whole world. <laughs> that, <laughs> that it God's takes God to give on you, you. A, a, a donut instead of a Danish. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get off of uh, uh, sausage sandwiches and Greek gods, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get on to something more. Only uh, on the Vialucci podcast would you get such a combo. Uh, yeah. Let's Singles. talk about something a bit lighter. Uh, terrorist oh, attacks, yeah? <laughs> Oh yes, near you. Oh yeah, um, da- yeah, down the road. I've been joking. Oh, yeah, so we are not making yeah. much of this. <laughs> no, no, no. But um, now, yeah. is this a terrorist attack in inverted commas, or all no, I know no, is somebody uh... got stabbed in Reading? Remember, we got overseas mm. listeners. Well, you were there, Charles. Well, you weren't. Yeah, there, well, but... I was. Yeah, I mean, I sort of live close by, but um, yeah, it was. So, uh, it's been in Reading. It's been, a, it's been uh, classified as a terrorist attack. Right. Nobody overseas knows what this is. What is it? Um, there was a stabbing attack in a park in central Reading and three people died and three people were injured. So, uh, And the suspect, um, I forget their name because they have released it, but uh, and the suspect it, is known to um, MI5. Yeah. As a, I don't know actually whether they were a person of interest or if they'd had I, links I to terror means, groups. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure. I can't, it just, I just saw the headline. Whether he's on a list or something know. somewhere. Yeah, might Amazon Google. Who's he yeah. supposed to be terrorising on behalf of? Uh, um, I, I guess I Al Qaeda or ISIS. Yeah. Or two. Who cares? Yeah, he was. Uh, he was Algerian. <clears throat> I think he's an Algerian asylum seeker. So. Oh, was he? I thought he was Libyan. I mean, Libyan. Oh, he might oh, be Libyan. Don't start all I, that again. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> he was. He was North African. Anyway, as asylum seeker yeah. in this country, and um, uh, yeah, it's. It's strange. It's always strange when you see um, uh, national news reporting on places that you know and sort of things that you have a bit more intimate detail with. Because I mean, it's not a it's not a bad area or a nasty area, but um, I have had a knife pulled out on me there a while ago, about twenty years really? ago. Yeah. Um, similar How long thing. Ago? Did you say twenty years? Yeah, about twenty years. I was about sixteen. Yeah. We were drinking in the park, and similar thing. Actually, drinking in the park, and this kid just comes up and goes give me a beer to like my mate. And he's just like, no, because this kid's like 14. So like 15, he's like tiny. And he's just like, we're like, just give me a fucking beer. And then he just pulls out like a machete or something. He's just like, oh shit. And we always ran away because we were like 16. So, so. But if somebody I, I that, think that's fair. It doesn't matter how yeah, old you are. If someone I pulls felt, a machete, yeah. just run away. But you think yeah. if he's, if he's going to, to pull a machete, then go for the wallet. Like, don't, why go for the beer and pull a machete out? If you're going to mug somebody... The, on behalf of the police, please do not pull machetes on anyone and please I'd, do not take their wallets. No, but I'm saying, like, it's a strange thing to... Yeah, oh, I've, got, I've got a machete. To, Can I I'm just have a beer? I'm going to jail. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna, yeah I'm gonna, I've got a machete. Can I boil your beers? <laughs> and, um, yeah. And if like, somebody pulled a machete at me and like that, I'd say... For a beer, look, for fuck's sake, sit down. Like, I want to talk to you. Like, here's a beer, look. What, what the fuck are you playing? I had somebody swing a machete at me once, and it was one of those things where um, I think it was a, a traveller fella. He couldn't get into a club I was working in North London. And um, he came back, and as everyone was leaving, it was like crammed, and there was like four doormen at the door. Mm. And it was crammed with like thousands of people coming out. And then this guy just popped up, and he swung the machete twice. Fucking and up. he missed all of us. <laughs> and then he just ran. And it was one of those moments. I don't know if this, what's the film where, oh, that's it, Pulp, Pulp Fiction. You know when he fight, the guy comes out the toilet and fires the guns? Oh, and misses. And you, you sort of look down and go, what just happened? Like, but yeah, well, he, yeah, he was so nervous. He ran and just swung the machete and he missed everybody. <laughs> and I suppose off. it's that thing of not lingering in case, you know, hoping he just Yeah, he was so nervous. It. He just such swung a strange, it and ran. Such a strange, though. I didn't get let into the club, so... Yeah. Obviously, because they're not thinking. Well, this will persuade them next time. It's clearly yeah. uh, my my pride is wounded, or well, that's some sort of honor type. Yeah. yeah, some honor type revenge. Mm. So we've got to be careful. I've always said to people, don't <clears> like <throat> smack, me. don't smack people around, especially young people on the door, because what happens is you don't realize. Um, their ego is more important than anything. Like they will die. They're that stupid. Like their reputation can't be hurt that like you're taking their life away by smacking them in front of other people you can't humiliate them yeah. you can throw them out and all that but don't humiliate them in front of other people because that's all they care about when they're that age um but I, what that the, that club i worked at the guy got shot in the face and it was it was over a guy who couldn't bring a lollipop into the club 
I was, I was going to say that's how people get shot. Like, genuinely. Yeah. Like, that's Literally, because it started yeah. with an argument. Again, ego. I can't bring mm. lollipop in. Why not? Take your lollipop. No, I'm not. Fuck you. It's a lollipop. Why can't you get in? Oh, this cunt won't let me in. The other dorm go, fuck you. He's a pussy. Yeah, I'll fuck you up. Yeah, but... And now there's eight people can't get it. Then, like, a couple of hours later, uh, his fucking bullet went through the club and took the guy's fucking chin off. A lollipop. Started over a lollipop. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, I could tell you some stories about that club. Like, I was there for a few years and I was I was at the wrong age as well. It got me at the wrong age. So like it, I, I was ready for war and it war presented itself to me. Um oh, we gotta keep this lighter. <laughs> Otherwise we're gonna have to use the black logo that we the Halloween logo for the show. Um, well uh, oh um yeah. Have you seen the news to like read just no. now about the coronavirus stuff? No. They're basically lifting the, the lockdown. Is it the 5th of July or something? 4th, I think. 4th or 5th. What are we now? 4th, I think. 23rd. Uh, 23rd. As of now or as of July? Uh, I think as of the 4th. Basically, everything's reopening uh, except for like gyms and outdoor events are still, like mass gatherings are still um, restricted. But yeah, most most things are gone. There's social distancing's down from two metres as well. Oh, to one metre. I'd heard they're down one metre. Well, that was the thing. The pub, the leisure center, uh, leisure sect were basically putting pressure on them to say, look, we can't open up with this two metre. It doesn't work. You can't have a pub full of people two metres apart. It's not going to work. Yeah, all the all the pubs are open, are going to be open, all the restaurants, and that's including going inside because they were talking about just maybe having outdoor areas um, legal or whatever, you know, open. Because I saw they also saying uh, on the that you can now have – Two groups of families in the same household. I'm going, shut up. Wait, nobody uh, two, cares. Houses, two households can mingle, yeah. I think, is the. Yeah, but I was just thinking, are you fucking. It's just who, all better no, off, isn't it? Nobody gives yeah, a shit. Yeah, yeah. You're two households. What are you talking? What world do you live in? That's gone. Stop talking. Just say it's open or it's not. Two, nobody listen. From the start, nobody was listening. They listened to Don't Including Go Out. Dominic Cummings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, never really found out what went on about that, but he basically was went out when he shouldn't have a politician yeah he went massively so the um thing was he uh his excuse was that he because he was feeling ill his wife was ill he took their children on this long trip to their so that they could be near to his either his parents or their the the children's grandparents so that if either of them got even more ill then there would be someone on hand to take care of them. But it was an enormously long journey. And everyone's, I think, basically people have done maths and saying, you must have stopped at some point. Yeah. So just, particularly with young children, obviously yeah. they need a piss. So this whole idea of no one else was in danger was a lie. But obviously he just gets well, to do just, what he wants. Yeah, two dear system and I've got a lawyer. So what, what are you going to yeah, exactly. do? That's, well, that's and, the, and he did that drive as well. He did it while he was supposed to be sick. He did a drive <clears> or when he's just recovered, actually. Funny. He did a drive, a 30-mile drive or 30-mile round trip or 30-mile there and back. Yeah, but it's just don't give a shit, is it? And, seen and like, to test his eyesight. Cause he said, oh, my eyesight was it, wasn't yeah. very good. And, like, so I need to put my family in the car and drive to this beauty spot for for an afternoon. I to wouldn't test, test my, my eyesight with my family in a car. No. The Star had the best headline, the best front page for a while. Um, it had, first of all, it had at the top, it had a dump, it was Dominic on Cummings three. mask. Was a page, <laughs> but it had uh, Dominic Cummings mask. So it said, if you get pulled over by the police, just yeah. put this mask on and like you just get out of jail free card. Yeah. But then it also had a bit underneath that said, police, no joke. It said, police reiterate, if you can't see, please don't. It is illegal to drive if you can't see. Yeah, cool. And then it had a picture of Stevie Wonder leaning out his car, going, "Who knew?" <laughs> like, <laughs> <his> thumbs up. <laughs> That's like out of that Bo Selector you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you ever see the the new? We talked about it previously. Um, the um, Lincoln Project, the new Trump one, the advert they've put out. So right. these are the Republicans that have been put, putting out adverts against Trump, um, like proper Republicans. Oh, is it actually? Uh, oh, I've just sorry because I keep seeing these Lincoln Project. I'm like, why is it called Lincoln Project? I like, oh yeah, because he's a he, yeah, because he's a Republican. Yeah. He was a Republican. He was a Republican. Sorry, yeah, just, I'm um, being very dead. It's, no, it's plus my pronunciation of <laughs> no, 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 no. I had I had seen it as well. I had seen other. But now about, but that yeah. they 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 don't mess around. They're basically saying, why are the Democrats not? Why is it Republicans that are putting having to put these out? Because they're banging, mm-hmm. they're punching him in the face with these, mate. And the last one was they called him a whiny bitch. So this is a political ad by the Republicans. 
Was that real? Because I saw yeah, that. Yeah, no, that's not I a joke. Thought, no. I thought that was just some no. YouTube thing. Yeah, it seems like the yeah. it's been put together. No, they called yeah. him a whiny bitch and they misspelled the thing. But um, they just show him walking down um, a oh, gang the ramp, ramp, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, with him getting yeah, killed. Yeah, that, that, yeah. And then he's got, um, he's a, uh, they, you just, you, all they do is use his own words against him. That's what they, they cut. So he's going, uh, one of his rallies talking about how he had to go there and it was slippy and, and the general, I said, he, he had said, rubber do you need a issues. hand? Do you need a hand? I said, no, no general, I don't, but I will if I need to. And he goes, I'm there for you, pre- Mr. President. If you, if you're about and he to says, fall, I looked, I looked at his, story. I looked yeah. at his shoes and yeah. his shoes had lots of rubber and mine was slippy. And then it cuts to sort of him still talking and it cuts to Joe Biden running up the thing on his own yeah, and yeah, a yeah, different yeah. while he's, and then it just fades out with him going and the slippy, and it was wet and it just fades out and it goes you're trump whiny bitch <laughs> that's it. he got he got a round of applause for drinking a glass of water that's that's the bar that's that is the funny bar. when you see yeah. that when he has to he goes to, and he does struggle because what he does when he goes to drink that glass of water he lifts it up his hand goes down his head goes forward and then yeah. he has to use the other hand to get it back up think, it's a really there? weird way of I th- is he just got some paranoia that if he if he drops a glass, that'll be the end of his political career. No, that, see, that's what I thought until I saw it yeah, properly. But you actually see his hand come up and he stops and his head actually goes forward like I can't go any further. It's like involuntary yeah. and he has to force it up. It's maybe not he's like got like a corset on or something. Like maybe he's just got some really restrictive like corset uh, type thing going on. Uh, could that be it? Well, he, look, they, he's I can't believe we're having, this con- we're having this conversation about like, you know, a hundred thousand plus people have died in that country. We're on the brink of a civil <laughs> war. And we're like, oh, I wonder if, if that fat man wears a corset. Well, it's yeah. him that's costing the life. So it is oh, yeah, his yeah, fault. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, yeah. But that's, you know, like, that's... He, yeah, he drinks water funny. He, he drinks water like a T-Rex. Yeah. He just <laughs> has his arms right there. He's like... yeah. It's really weird. You're like, why are you drinking that bottle of water like a T-Rex? Yeah. That's, that's so weird. Yeah. But the fact he was saying it all like to his crowd he going he's just trying to explain himself like a big oh no you're making it worse you fucking idiot and they're all laughing yeah like they were saying he, he actually said at the, the rally that oh well it was um uh there was too many covid cases so i was told him to slow down on the testing i said the, the journalist afterwards say did you tell people to slow down on the testing and he went look we've been testing this amount of people we go oh he, he forgot he's so busy trying to be funny mm-hmm. that he forgot that what he said stupid Oh, it's yeah. mental, isn't it? It's madness. Because he had to, he had to, he just said, "Oh, I didn't mean any of that. It's just a joke." Oh yeah, his thing thingy come out and said his mate yeah. come out. He said, "No, yeah. he's, he's just like, his tongue in cheek and going, yeah. why is he always making jokes? Like, is he, he's always making jokes, is he?'" Yeah, why is it always sarcasm? Yeah. What was the yeah, other thing? Yeah. And then he said, "Oh, it was about bleach, wasn't it?" And then he said, "No, bleach, actually, I was yeah. just being sarcastic." Oh, when he looked to the guy to say, like, yeah, bleach, maybe we can... Yeah. And you go... Maybe you take the sunlight and put the sunlight oh, inside the body. That woman, wasn't yeah. there, the expert. Um, just, <laughs> and she just sat there awkwardly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She just wasn't even looking at him. She was like, if I don't look at him... Yeah. Again, like a T-Rex, like his vision's based on movement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just do She's nothing, just like and it says, yeah. I'm not committing like, either way. <laughs> he'll just forget there, like, or hold up a mirror in front of him like he's a, a budgie. Yeah. <laughs> he'll just start no, talking yeah. to that. But, like, he, he is fucked. His health is fucked. He's riddled with insecurities. He's mentally and physically I'm sure fucked. that's not the only thing he's riddled with. Yeah. <laughs> but he is just, he's, he's like a busted human being. Like, everything's, he's just like a shell that's held together by mud, just packed together. Yeah. Hold me together. I, 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 I don't, yeah, I don't know. He probably will uh, win the next election, yeah, so this will be so a moot too. point. But, Unfortunately. but it kind of feels like it's sort of winding down a bit. Like, well, I do people think around people him are getting sick, sick, sick to death. I, of him. I, sick I to think death of him. the drama, just the drama about everything. I think yeah. people, I think people just people stop paying attention as well. People were like. Like oh you know bloody oh look what what's he done now I think most people are just exhausted by it, uh, getting exhausted by it. It, it it's difficult to even get fucking angry at him anymore you know what I mean and that's what he he's like well, look a at troll. the crowds they, they, nobody turning up to the rally it being half full and all that and cancelling mm. the outside thing and... apparently this was corona, a, though, that, but... yeah apparently this was um because yeah they did they weren't going to have a, the stadium at full capacity uh, because of corona but apparently. Um, all these sort of uh, K-pop fans and all these other TikTokers and oh, whatnot, young that. kids, yeah, yeah, yeah. they all intentionally um, booked tickets en masse and then didn't turn up. 
<laughs> just to make it I, so I that it was that, empty. Yeah. I, I hope that's true. I hope that because that is wonderful. Yeah. I saw an interview with some guy claiming um, uh, uh, claiming uh, responsibility for that, but like almost like a terrorist attack. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. TikTok He's like, attack. Uh, K-pop. Yeah, yeah, TikTok attack. No, but um, then they, and... they did have the, because um, they did say that and somebody said no, because look, they, they, they were supposed to have like an outside party for all the people who could get yeah, it and yeah. nobody turned up. They just didn't turn up. Um. But yeah, so, but as I keep saying, he's still got sort of like jokers up his sleeve where <clears throat> start a war, start something. That's your last thing to keep yourself in power. Start a war, have yeah. something big happen that just throws you off. And he's got to do something big. He'll do something yeah. big. It's, it, yeah, it's a long five months. Who knows how people all feel in five months? I mean, if the election were now, he'd probably lose. But who knows? I, it, there's so much happening, <laughs> even with lockdown, even during a period where everyone's been stuck indoors for about three focus, or four months. Yeah. There's so much happening, and the news cycle's just going. It seems to be getting quicker and quicker and quicker. So who the hell know? Who the hell knows what's going to happen next week? Let alone. Do you know anybody months, that's been you know? sick with the corona? I don't know anybody. Uh, yes, my uh, a, a friend of mine's dad's been. Oh. and also my long story: my cousin's girlfriend's mother tested positive. Well, and how are they handling it? Are they all right with it? Or is it not? Uh, that was a few months ago, so they're okay uh. now. She's okay, but she's but her and her daughter, my cousin's girlfriend, uh, were very sick. So he was there at a night. Basically, he was around her place, and then she suddenly got very sick, and he's like, "Oh shit!" And this is when it was all kicking off. So he left because you know he was like, "Oh, uh, fair enough," and. Um, and then the mum got sick. They she did they didn't test her. They didn't bother to test the, the girlfriend, but her mum got sick a bit later, had to go to hospital and she tested positive. So they're assuming that she's had it and the probably my cousin's had it as well. So how did they thing. separate them? Uh they didn't at that point. No. Oh. Because it's household, so as your uh, your uh, sickness playing up, how's your belly? Uh <laughs> not to get onto it eventually. <laughs> Yeah, no. It's what the I people mean, want. I mean, uh, First one will show you. Yeah, the episode, yeah. Yes. yeah. Updates. Yeah, medical updates. Yeah. Um, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for, folks. Um, yeah, no, I'm feeling a lot better actually. It's weird because like last couple of days I've been like <clears> doing <throat> stuff and I've been like, you know, when you feel better and you realise like, oh shit, yeah, I have I've been. Uh, feel like this crap is what it's like to feel like a normal weather. human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, oh, I'm sort of doing stuff and yeah. I was going for a walk and I was like just doing work and I was like outside and stuff and I was like oh I don't feel like crap all the time I was like, yeah. oh, I'm yeah. not crying every time I go to the toilet <laughs> yeah. I'm not having yeah. To, yeah. and if you've been getting less pain uh, at the same time you've been getting less pain oh uh, yeah I haven't had any pain oh so your days, body so. was struggling through something and you just sort of come out the other side yeah. wasn't my apple cider vinegar idea was it uh, I have not been able to get any. Okay. Ah, uh, you should have just told him yes, Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. I bought yes. He needed, he needed the to... cheering up after his, <laughs> after the Danish fiasco. <laughs> uh, it sounds like a taut political the Dan- thriller. I know. The yeah. Danish the fiasco. Danish incident. Have you been doing any exercise? Talking about going out for a walk. Have you been doing any exercises? You got any home weights Me? or anything? Yeah. Me? Uh, no, I haven't really. I've been going for walks. You've been, you were going to the gym, um, Andrew. What have you been doing? Any exercises? Yeah. So the um, my gym, uh, I've been doing. You were going every of, week, weren't you? you yeah. Doing it yeah. Week. I still have been. Uh, I've not been doing. So my gym, the gym I go to mostly, uh, Nine Round, that does the the high intensity stuff. They've just been doing home workouts. So they're live streaming their workouts, and you can copy. Oh, really? okay. um, yeah, it's not bad actually because most what, of it because so high intensity. This is like <clears throat> not CrossFit. It's like aerobic and aerobic. Yeah. Yeah, it's mostly aerobic. They're, they are doing some light weight stuff, and you can just add weights to things if you want. Have you got to. weights, have you? Uh, yeah, I've got some um, weights down there. And I also oh. wear weights on my wrist, so even if it's not anything that's lifting, at least when I'm, you know, at least when you're moving, um, just gives it a little bit of extra resistance. And we've got a, we've got a bike here, uh, me and my housemate. We both use an yeah, an indoor bike. bike. Yeah, yeah, just an exercise bike. Yeah, I might get, I'm, I'm tempted to get a rowing machine as well, actually. Okay. That's yeah, that's a lot of space fun. to take up, though. A well, machine. we've got plenty of. There's only the two of us. Oh, in listen house. to him. Oh, it's five you know. bedroom country. I'll just, I'll just put it into the butler's wing. <laughs> put it into the different wing. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Say. <laughs> uh, so I don't know what they said about the gyms. Is there anything? Any? No, I mean, it's opening, a difficult yeah. one, isn't it? Because they're yeah. still closed. They, 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 in fact, went out of their way to say that no, because of 
the way people uh, people breathe in a lot and hygiene Heat and moisture <laughs> yeah people happened. sweating and stuff yeah, yeah that that they could they would still be a health risk so they said that it's weird because they said some things were open something like like bowling alleys are still closed but cinemas are open cinemas are open i, I guess probably because you can't the be bowling touching balls the, maybe the, bowl, the bowling yeah. balls isn't it because yeah, yeah, they're saying balls, it's touch yeah, as true. much as any other thing True, true, true. Um, so there's a couple of things in the way the bowling balls <clears throat> go around the machines as well and stuff. So it probably spreads it all. Yeah, I can see that. But um, but there's it was very specific on some things. And they said you could go to church. They're opening up church services, <laughs> but you can't sing. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, how, oh, how deep right. can you breathe out? Was that just that? a judgment? <laughs> yeah. They were like, listen, you, we should you have just, a little bag of our now's own. the time to tell you you can't. Yeah, sing. sorry guys, you can't. <laughs> just give it a rest no one there, there was a guy in america who had a gym and what he's done is he, he's like a he's part of these uh, plastic tents that you train in like see through but he just like you go in with the weights and you go into the tent and you just do mm. the weights but it's just like mm. no it's not ready wait just that doesn't work because it's fucking huge you can only get like, one person in each one um but yeah it's a difficult one because that's like That'll be the last thing to open because that is heat, Maybe, sweat, yeah. heavy breathing, yeah. close touching. Mm, I everything. reckon swimming pools will be the last. <laughs> well, no, I mean that's chlorine. I don't know why that is because you're never going to overcrowd it. There's only so many people can yeah, have true. in there. You can, there I always lanes. think inherently, like yeah, but if you're sweating in the water with that or the chlorine, collect no, the chlorine surely. Drink the chlorine. Drink it. The bleach, <laughs> precious bleach, cleansing yeah. bleach. Yeah. Again, just a reminder: we are we are making jokes. Please do not ever drink bleach. Yeah, don't listen to your presidents. Yeah, I do knew. I knew uh, when I was living in shared accommodation. Um, there was a, uh, we came back once, and uh, there's this poor oh, yeah. ha housing association woman. She just got terrorised by all the people that lived because she was a nice person, and yeah. we were just like animals. And um, she, we came back in once. She she was cleaning the toilet, and um, we Why was she cleaning your toilet? Sorry, because uh, we wouldn't do anything, and she would get in trouble if it wasn't like she kept saying, "Do this, do that," and nobody would do anything. Well, because I mean, you knew you were doing it. Yeah, what she was trying to be nice it? to us, and she got us a washing machine, which nobody else in the council houses had, and somebody nicked it within the day and sold it. <laughs> like, so, I mean, it was that. Right. Yeah, it was that sort of place. Um, but uh, so we came back once, and I thought she, her head was in the toilet because there was a small toilet, like a single toilet in a single room and her legs were out the fucking door. And I thought somebody tried to fucking do something to her. So I opened the door and what had happened is she was using this strong bleach to clean the toilet with the door closed. Oh, okay. And she must have fucking passed out from the, like Fumed, the wasp. Yeah. Really? Because yeah. she didn't yeah, have any gloves or anything like that. It's just from this to this day, I've always made a mental note about whenever there's bleach around, I always open a fucking window, which I do anyway, but it's always in my head seeing her like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I could tell you some stories yeah. about that place as well. That's a loony place. That we, place we're going to have to have a nightclub, uh, nightclub, uh, nightclub fight club and uh, yeah, horrors home club, from Home that. club, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, I don't, there's most of the stories I couldn't tell. I've got to get, I, I need to speak to a lawyer about what I can and can't say, like about the, the six years thing or whatever. I don't know. Because um, most of my stories get a voice changer thing. We could we could maybe do an interview with uh, with some people. Some no, because otherwise we'll end up in a situation where uh, you're having to get uh, statements. Let's, let's do it, Char uh, Let's hear it, Charles. Who the caller collect is? Oh yeah, <laughs> Joe Exotic. <laughs> it's gonna be Theo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're getting the Gotta get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hentonville Prison. You are speaking to Theo X. Yeah. <laughs> They're talking about giving me twenty years over this shit. <laughs> we'd, all, we'd all be like, "Well, he knew this day was coming." <laughs> uh, no, yeah. Uh, I know, yeah, I need a chisel <laughs> and a cake. <laughs> and like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh god. Oh, we got, we need to. So we're back into the studio, not uh, this Sunday, but the one afterwards. Yay! Um, oh, we've got so much to do because that will be the all new V Lucci podcast. We've got a load cool. of new so Reboot. Get, there's a load of stuff happening. I like that. That'll be the all new, and I think that's going to be. If my maths is correct, that's going to make it episode eighty five. <laughs> <laughs> for an old, yeah, for a hundred year old, is the all new. Yeah. Uh, where uh, I think. I don't know what because one day did you two properly kick in? What po podcast was that? It must have been like the twelve. I was in, I was in the twenties, yeah. But I wasn't doing a regular. I was a stand in for the first one I did. Oh, okay. and then I think I did one a couple of. Yeah, but Charles wasn't only quit shortly before you. <clears throat> no, Charles was after, after me. Yeah, I did like one ages ago because we did. Oh, it I see. With, yeah, um... yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, you did the stand in. Uh, right, yeah, I did, yeah. yeah, I did the stand in one ages ago with uh, what's her name. Um... Oh right, you guys. Andrew was standing in, and then he, then you got standing in. And yeah, so your standings all became the 
somehow you got slipped into the roles and exactly. you never got let out since. Yeah, oh, made God. it made it from the reserve team up to uh, first. You've done team, well. Right? You're like you're you're like the Marines. You like you you got through boot camp. Like many have failed, and you're still here. Like you're. We're like Veterans. we're like the seventh in line for the thr- throne, and somehow we <laughs> yeah, made sorry. it. Like everyone else got poisoned or killed in battle. King Ralph, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> King Ralph, <laughs> Matt that's Phil. a film no one's thought about for about thirty years. How did it? all yeah. the royals die to, that he got in? There Wasn't was there a an photo. Fo- yeah. yeah, there was a photo, and they got electrocuted. They oh, there's a spoiler alert line. for a thirty-year-old <laughs> film. Sorry, <laughs> it happens in the first like twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Minutes, so, I mean, oh, is, that- is it John Goodman? Yeah, is, yeah. Some, yeah. But I watched that film that everyone kept going on about. What's the? I think it's a Korean film. Um, oh, Parasite. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. No, I haven't actually. Yeah, right, did shit. you like it? I thought no. you'd like it. Yeah, really? Shit. That twist. <laughs> that's the twist, is it? That I'm not going to say what it is, but there's all oh, this big twist. It's not a big. Twist. Oh, I didn't think there was. I didn't think it was a twisty film. That's no, the thing. I, I thought you shouldn't have told me that. I mean, I couldn't get through it anyway. It just seemed boring. But, um, no, I'll tell you a good, it, but a good. Career. I had I had like collateral kind of fucked for me because someone well, but someone told me like oh it's got a really good twist at the end it's got an amazing twist and like, which one's that, that sorry is it is that the Tom Cruise one that's Tom Cruise and uh, oh, okay. what's his name uh, Jamie Fox Jamie Fox I was gonna say Michael J Fox but I knew that was wrong <laughs> <laughs> Jamie <laughs> um, yeah that's a whole different parallel universe um, but yeah Jamie Fox and thing and like all that happens is the good guy kills the bad guy at the end spoiler alert and I'm like isn't that what's supposed to happen yeah 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 I was like and I spent the whole film going okay where's the twist where's the twist oh. and then it just kind of finished and I was like oh there's no twist and so it's a really good film but I kind of I've always have yeah these that's gonna skew my head. you I think that's probably what skewed with Paris yeah. there's no twist that's what I'm in saying. that. I think yeah, that that's that skewed your because you were expecting some, yeah, you know. Major, turns yeah. out, turns yeah, out the guy who, punch, whose house yeah. it was was a ghost the whole time. Or something. Yeah, it's that yeah, thing. Yeah. You really do have to watch your words when you're telling somebody to watch something. Just it's because people down don't know what twist bit. means. Like they they mean surprise. <laughs> yeah, but, a, yeah, a twist is not yeah, a surprise. Right. A twist is an Im- a complete inversion. Yeah, of everything right, yeah. else you've seen before. Yeah, yeah, surprise. So yeah, with your with Charles, yours is probably oh you'd be surprised that Tom Cruise gets killed. But it's not a twist because he's the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. The good guy was, kills the bad guy. I, I thought he was going to die. I thought um, uh, Jamie Foxx was going to die. That would have been then, a twist, yeah. That would have been a twist. That would have been really interesting. You go, <clears> oh, <throat> shit. Okay, right. Mm. That I wasn't expecting that. That, that would be yeah. something I wouldn't have been expecting. But to ha- literally have the good guy triumph and defeat the bad guy at the end, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not really. this is <laughs> who Who could have predicted? <laughs> yeah. I but you know, like, okay. when, um, what, who's the fella on... GMTV or something that came out as gay. What was his name? Oh, uh, Philip Schofield. Yeah, Philip Schofield. Yeah. I thought he was gay. So what so are you was... talking about? <laughs> Turned yeah, out he see, was. We all, yeah. thought, I, we all thought that he was, uh, you know, hawking holly on the side. I literally, when they said he's coming out as gay, I guy. thought, that can't mean surely he's gay. I went, oh no. And, I, and then I thought, well, what's his wife? What, what did she not see? Are you? What are you talking about? He's come out as gay. He, he's... I don't want to get. I don't really know what the circumstances because um, it seems like uh, whether that's a, just a very carefully prepared PR thing that um, that you know they're all being supportive and she, the wife is a bit shocked and everything. Um, I don't know. I guess because he came up in an era of you know because what was yeah, he famous probably yeah, in the eighties. So buys, being gay, it's like you know with because at that point he was a kids' was, TV presenter as well for a bit. Really, wasn't yeah, him, but so. you, yeah, exactly. I think it's a combo of things of because you know there's always this moronic. Um, I don't even want to repeat it, but I will because it's uh, uh, yeah, a moronic no, no, accusation that basically that um, gay people are and you know and or are also paedophiles is mm. uh, you know why is the was, link there. Because people are homophobic, you you're know. a because per- you're a pervert and a degenerate or something. Yeah, that's because you're sense. because yeah. being homosexual is again we're not well, we're not, we're not like saying, saying we agree with that's like going to say, say um, oh, it's a possession. I mean, it's on that yeah, level. Yeah. Well, it's just a, saying, yeah, it's yeah. so fucking stupid. It's, yeah, exactly. It, it, this so, way you didn't want to repeat it because you're just yeah. like what? You're like, Fuck yeah, God, but it is just yeah. So that was um, for a long. I, it probably still is. I'm sure. I'm sure very um, ultra right wing sort of religious people still. Um, expound that view but that's you know that was one of the arguments against why gay 
guy, uh, gay men shouldn't be allowed to adopt because they're more likely to molest the children, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just, you know, but what they really mean is, I don't understand this and it's scary and it must be wrong. Well, it's funny because when I was, when I remember looking up like Harvey Milk years ago when I was trying to sort of have mm. people to admire and I sort of, and I thought I needed that struggle. So I went into sort of black culture, their struggle and gay struggle. Like when it first happens, like the, the original people that fought and died for things and I was learning about him and, um, it was weird because you go, you, they, it, even the nice people, like the psychologists, were saying, "Look, it's a, they're not evil, but it's a deformity of the brain." Do you know what I mean? Even the nice people were sort of against them. It, it was classed as a mental illness. Yeah, up, yeah, so yeah. I think about nineteen sixty or something. Like Blimey, some point the surprised it's that late. It, 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 it genuinely until nearly it became legalized i think they they classed it as a mental mental illness and, and then a few years later it became legal um certainly in this country but it was still up till surprisingly late mm. you know but again i guess that's this is what we kind of what we might call the privilege as it were because we assume that everything's fine because we're not affected by it directly yeah. I'll tell you yeah. what I'm getting annoyed by, the, the gay community thing, right? Have you noticed in the last couple of days... Oh, wait, Hover's hand nervous. over there. Hover's <laughs> yeah. hand over there, over the stop record button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, but... Uh, no, Pull my like, feed. Go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, um, Ram, save us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. We'll, um, we'll... You know, have you seen recently on, like, on like, I think on LinkedIn, they changed their logo to, like, a the, the flag thing? Oh, it's because... Uh, is it not Pride Month, I believe? Yeah. Oh, right, is that oh. what it is? Okay. Yeah, I believe it's gay pride. And I saw it on something else, a shop. I can't remember what shop it was. But here's my thing. Well, that is that. Was it a rainbow, though? As in an yeah, actual colour? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the NHS. Um... Oh, no, not a rainbow. I mean, the colours. It's like okay, if I'm not lying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Sorry. And um, it's. I saw it on LinkedIn. I saw. I, I didn't know what it was. I saw it on something else. It might have been Google mm. or something like that. But it angers me. Because it's just this. Where the fuck were you thirty years ago? Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean, right? So yeah. you're not you're Don't, not against it, yeah, yeah. You're bye, the bye, bye. last fucking person in the room, and you look at us. Yeah, you're the last person in the room to be celebrating it. You're the last of it. Mm. Everyone before you did all the things, and everyone and everyone agrees it's now fine. And then you go, oh, we look, we're with you. No, where the fuck were you before? It's, it really pisses me off, this sort of thing. Like, oh, these big companies support things. No, you're jumping on a bandwagon. Yeah. You didn't give a shit about the, the gay struggle and all that. But it's the same yeah. with the, you know, with Black Lives Matter, that that's become, you know, that's, you know, people are, you're like, really? When, when Com you companies even... are standing up and supporting them. And it's just like, dude, where were you in the, in the uh, just, say, don't say put, in the marches? Yeah, you know I mean? Don't put anything up on there. Don't go, oh, look, we're for all this. Because you're literally the last person in the room. Like, the generations have gone before. You've done it all. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. go, well, everyone else is happy with it now. Oh, well, let's put, let's put it on ours. Look, we're with you. No, you're not. You're not. You're the last person to agree. It's like, with, I think, with um, uh, Obama said to somebody once, because he, he turned against uh, he, the drugs. He was supposed to be for legalization or that and um he said to somebody they spoke to him he said um uh, he said like i want uh this is before he got into being president he said uh, when they'll say anything he said mm. to the guy um oh the, the he's the guy said to the president oh look i want drugs to be legalized and he said uh obama said to me look you've got to keep fighting because the politicians are the last one in the room to agree with everything so you have to force them to agree. Yeah. They're, they're not mm. going to do it for you. They, and uh, so and I remembered that, and I thought, yeah, that's what they are. They're the last. But when everyone else has agreed, it's safe to do something. Yeah, of course. And the people have died. Then they go, well, oh, we're all for it. You're not leaders. You're followers. You're the you're the person at the back of the room, the coward. When everyone has to agree, is everyone agreed? Yeah, we all cut. Is it all find out? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, we're with you. And you go, you're the last person in the room. See, I find it offensive when these big companies put up this like, you say, go fuck yourself. You, 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 you've done nothing. You're, you're anti this sort of thing because you agree with everybody else until it's too late and you have to show up. Then you milk it for your own company. Look up, we're with you. No, do yeah. it when the struggle is kicking on. Sort of in a little way, like we was talking about the NHS with the, the English guy and the American doctor. And he said, stop having these planes fly over us to support the the what the americans call it the emergency services get some fucking ppe equipment never mm -hmm. mind the the three hundred thousand dollar flights that you're doing overhead three times uh, every day to support us and the um the the british doctor that was on the youtube is saying 
uh, uh, never mind the, the clapping for the NHS. He said, where were you when we were struggling, when we were, had to strike because of the hours? Where were you then? Don't start putting up your posters and clapping for the NHS because that's that's like um, uh, like propaganda to make you all feel good. You, you've done nothing to help us. So don't start mm. putting up flags and, oh, our company supports the NHS. Well, you didn't at the fucking time when they were having to strike because the junior doctors work in 18-hour days. So it's just, it's this thing of just, it doesn't matter, like the doctor, it doesn't matter about the doctors ha- not having PPE equipment, as long as the country sees we're proud of them. But what about the actual individual? Well, fuck them. It's about k- and the it's, image. And it's ticking boxes, isn't it? And it feels like, a, it feels, those types of things feel like corporate decisions, don't they? Yeah. But this um, is politicians sending these airplanes over to cel- you know, celebrate the workers. But you go, you're literally saying, look, we're gonna, we want to be seen as celebrating you all, but actually on the ground, you don't give two flying fucks whatsoever. A human being is not important. But and somebody said, yeah, it cost them to send over those three jets over the uh, hospital every day was like three or two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. But you can't get PPE equipment. But you're happy. Well, yeah, we don't care about you. We care about the the vision, the the advert of seeing the plane go yeah. over. Yeah. And that's the world over. It doesn't matter what's well, actually happening. It's what seems to be happening. Well, in America, it was it was kind of a stark, the difference in levels of equipment and funding for mm-hmm. nurses and then the police force battling the riots. Yeah. Two big national emergencies at the time, you know, coronavirus and the, the, the sort of protests. national protests and, and, and uh, you yeah. know, and police were in full body armor, had, you know, Every, every bit of equipment had tanks, drones, all types of crap. And then the nurses were having to wear bin bags yeah. Yeah. to stop them dying. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it's, it's, it, you hate to see things like that, but it's just as you get older, you go realize just the bullshit. It, it, it just gets worse. You just find out more and more about the bullshit mm. until you realize the whole system's just completely poisoned and everything, the freedom, the this, the, it's all a delusion. I My, think that, uh, Oh, no, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, they, they're linking. I think it was a Lincoln project. Put out one about Mitch McConnell, and they're saying um, uh, the uh, remind me again. I know the name. Yeah, but I can't. I know, he's the yeah, one with no know. neck. He's that doesn't narrow worm. down. That's that seems to be most Republican. <laughs> well, this, like, is he just, Republican? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the, basically, he's a Kentucky. The guy from Kentucky with the grey hair. He's just got the one look on his face. Um, uh, oh, you, you know, if you saw his face, you'd, uh, you'd yeah. Know. Um, but they're saying, yeah, when he came into, he's Ooh, been there for like thir- 35 years. When he he's came like in. He's like a really fat Bill Gates, isn't he? He's like a really jowly <laughs> old Bill Gates. I mean, not that that matters, but that's. Can you just... screen share so I know who you're talking about? Yeah. Just to make sure right. it is him, we're getting the name right. And that's where hopefully I don't, don't be born, don't be born, don't be born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's the classic. Uh, it's by the way, yeah, for our listeners, we are screen share because we are Skyping. Oh, what yeah. are we doing? Uh, but yeah. uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, my friend um, messaged me okay. the. LGBT uh, is this promo. what we talk about? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Oh, oh, Do you yeah. See what I mean? this, like it's like. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. but he said they were saying yeah he went the advert was saying that when he got in he didn't have a lot of money and now he's worth thirty five million and he's just a government worker basically now he's got thirty five million. You go, oh right, where do, and they go to Kentucky like the unemployment rate's really high. This is like but he's done all right mm. like thirty five thirty five million pound. Anyway, sorry. Don't... Didn't Jacob Rees Mogg earn like ten million in a year and then refuse to tell anyone where he got it from? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh sorry, yeah. I just had a real. Oh, just he's a real just another one. He's it. just uh, he's a, a sort of visible uh, representation of everything that's wrong in England. Just that oh, worthy. He's just a dead up. person, isn't he? Yeah, it's just nothing. He's... I'm here for myself. Fuck you all. I'm stuck up and posh, and I deserve everything. That's what I, but, I mean. Yeah. What's what's inside? What's nothing, isn't it? Nothing. He's a dead, he's just he's a dead person. Two... He's just yeah. he's just yeah. that's just a shell. Yeah, designed to earn money and keep for itself. Like that's yeah. a dead person, isn't it? Like I think um, that popped into my head the other day. It's like he's dead. He's literally. I don't mean well, that that's as what I'm saying about. I mean, no, he's a dead that's person. What, he's that's what I'm zombie. saying about Trump. They keep saying, yeah. "Well, this and that." You go, "No, there's nothing inside. There's nothing processing inside about doing good. It's just a vacuum of sucking stuff in. That's yeah. it." Have you ever um, seen that that Korean film? Um, the the horror film on on the train, the, the last train. Train to, to Busan. Yeah, oh, I've, seen, I've heard of it. Yeah. Now. Is it good? It's quite yeah, it's good. It's a good yeah, film. It's, it's good, good horror. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there's the baddie in there, the guy that owns, I think, the owns the trains, or he's a CEO of something. And throughout the the, the, f- the, the, the shitty businessman dude, he, yeah, he just, just throws, he fucks over like anyone. Everyone. Yeah, Even if people really come bad, to yeah. help him, he'll throw them in <laughs> and just yeah. run. And he think, just chucks people. He's his yeah. move is to chuck people. He pushed a young girl in there. Somebody came to help him, pushed him in front of the zombies. 
he just shoves people at the zombies and then runs away. And yes, like, but, but that's Trump. Seconds. That's Rhys Mogg. That is, I really not even think, I'm not guilty of anything. I'm not thinking anything. I'm yeah. just here to serve my own purposes. Any ver- any stuff that happens is irrelevant. It's just for yeah. me. So, Charles, yeah. what were you going to say, your mate? Oh, uh, just oh, just about um, about Jacob Rhys Mogg. Uh, there's a, a, an interesting quote I read from. Uh, Who's an Chris English politician, Patton. by the way. Jake is yeah, yeah. He's particularly nasty shit He's, to you. It's basically if Harry Potter at one point in his life went, yes, Voldemort, I will join you. <laughs> and, that's, and then now he's grown up and that's yeah. what's yeah. happened. Yeah. So what a go on. Yeah. Um, Chris Patton, who was uh, a, a British politician and former governor of Hong Kong, Chris Patton, was apparently family friends uh, with the Reese Moggs and knew Reese Moggs since he was a baby yeah, and he bad. said that he has not changed since he was eight years old Jesus. he's the same person has the same views he is now as he is a as he you know as he was like sort of 30 years ago because he's a lot older than you think i think he's about 30, 40 something 45 46 who's reese mock yeah i'm surprised he's that old. i thought he, he was older 50s, than that yeah. yeah i thought he was older he he, 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 well, he carries himself as, as me. but i'm saying he looks oh, bloody much. politicians good neck for that it must um, be frustrating. 51, you're... Charles. You're sorry. 51? Fake news. Jeez, wow. It's fake. Fake news. Wow, he, I the think fake, pretty good 51. The fake Charles media. <laughs> but yours, yours might be fake news. So oh, we're all exactly. confused. No, we don't know who's telling the truth. Russia's yeah. won. <laughs> exactly. Um, um, but it's just, it's, it's uh, just this system we live in that our, our, our leaders are scared greedy followers like that it's but, it yeah, but that's how it's on. always been that's yeah, how it's it carried, been. well but that's the point that's why it doesn't work andrew it doesn't work i know we've got i to am responsible for the uh but you're the, the you're the, the masses you're the the the, the quiet the, yeah but the i'm talking about ten thousand years of history i'm not talking you know oh since democracy came about or this or that, down, or capitalism got to pull it it's down. all the same yeah. it doesn't matter it's all the you know no, you had the feudal it, system it was the same you had no uh, but then people said that about how long was rome around for that was never going to end rome now it's gone it's just another little blip well i mean rome rome the roman empire was for around for close part well as the republic and then as the empire we're talking close to two thousand years as a society oh there you go i thought it was less than that um, but uh, yeah, so th- th- that I, I mean, that the ended. formation of the Republic was in 300 ish B, well, to about 300 BC. And the, the, the very large, I mean, I'm playing fast and loose here because the Byzantine Empire, the, the, I'm, the, I'm the sort Eastern of... Roman Empire, was a tiny fragment by the end of it. But I, I've just realized I'm going against my own argument because I was going to say, yeah, they ended. And then I thought, you've got the American Senate. <laughs> this, yeah. Other than the wreath on the head, it's basically the same thing. Yeah, everything is all is all very much on. So, that, as as I said before, that's human nature. So you have to go. If you get in, you're going to be greedy, even if you're a nice person. So the whole system has to be collapsed and built in a certain way. I have to think again. We have, can't keep well, it doing to, this. Yeah, it has to be a ma- it, what what it is is the problem is that money. That's um, all it is. Money. Well, you know, you need checks and balance. You need a system of checks and balances. But then other people say, "Oh, that's too much big government. That's too much." This. No, no, no. Why? But you only need that because somebody's going to be power hungry or money hungry. Yeah, but and that's power what you, so you do is that. money. So it all yeah. comes back to money. The power is that's money. Yeah, but they're not going to do it. Better sure. checks and balances, though. I mean, I I think uh, th- have you you know have you heard all these talks about getting rid of the police force in America or defunding, yeah, defunding the police, the police defunding, defunding yeah. and and stuff? And I'm like, uh, I was I just think we we've been down that road in this country with austerity, and it hasn't led to positive outcomes. I don't think. We've... But I mean, I think that's that's more a case of uh, I could be wrong, but I think in America everything is very much. You know, because it's funded by the cities, it's almost like having a franchise. So no, I don't, don't get me wrong. Yeah, about federally, yeah. Be- better checks and balances. Yes, uh, there there are need to be restrictions. You know, they, no, I don't understand why a, why a need, why a, why a city police force needs to have tanks. I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> that, that is that seems a, a little odd to me. And if if and if the British police behaved the way that American police behaved, I'd be absolutely sh- it would be shocking in this country. Being, but you wouldn't have shocking. yeah. That all these problems, if it wasn't for money, if you can't gain money from being in politics, these things, the evil people wouldn't be in it. Yeah, you'd yeah. Good, but decent then, but people. Then, uh, you'd have people that people run. Do, yeah, no, yeah, but if, if you went to like, um, like people that do the citizens advice bureaus, those lawyers, they don't get paid. They do that in their own time. And um, you get people like that and you put them in charge. You make yeah. sure there's no way you can make money from anything. And that's how it would run. It's You can go. Police this, government this, change the rules here. Yeah, no, no, no. 
if there's money or people w- will do things for money, greed goes toward money. You take money out of politics. This is your wage. It's a lowly wage. Maybe you have something like you have to do 10 years community service. I mean, community, you have to be a school teacher or a headmistress mm-hmm. or something like that. Once you've done those 10 years, you go into it and it's a £50,000 a year job. So you're only going to have people that are experienced in a, cre- a, a kind, a, a caring role and knowing that there's no money in this for me. It's just because that's the person I am. And all those people, the, 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 the greedy, but they'll fuck off. They'll go somewhere all else. The pe- people can always be, you know, don't worry about the, you know, never mind the, I I'm not sure what their MP salary is on average. I shall, I shall Google. Probably about 80, I think it's uh, 89, 89,000 or something. Yeah, it's, it's, 100, it's 160 for the PM, isn't it, I think? Yeah, I think it's about 67 or 70. Oh, I thought it was more MP than that. MP salary UK. Uh, basic salary of a member of parliament in the House of Commons is 81,932. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, okay, that was a bit as more of April. Okay, um, and that's not including all the benefits and not having a that, second yeah, home. The, the thing is, yeah, what you're, you know, that's that when you're talking about the really corrupt people, we're not talking um, eighty-one thousand pounds. We're talking millions. We're talking offshore accounts. No, no, you well, Panama uh, because well, you they're being at... paid by this company, that company, this government. You know, I'm sorry, who gets ten million pounds from what? Sorry, where? No, but. Well, uh, and yeah. and they get they do things on promises as well. In this country, they do that. You, you look at the job. You look at okay, well, the cabinet minister does after he stops being a, pro, a a member of parliament or a cabinet minister, they go off and they're they're on the boards of a hedge fund. They go off and they got, got mm. a very lucrative job. All of a sudden, this is... they're, they're like they're like the health minister, and all of a sudden they're like on the boards for Booper, getting paid, you know, uh, two three million, four million a year. Yeah, because it's the, the retirement it's, plan, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, but this the, is why I'm saying it's, you it's, need win, somebody. Win, win, nudge, nudge, you, know? you need somebody that's had a life in that sort of care work or something like that, a yeah. role where they've proved themselves. They're not a politician, even if you're greedy, you're not going to go, well, I'm going to be a, a headmaster of a school for 10 years so that when I come out, I can do a few deals so that when I leave politics, I might be a job. They're not going to do that. It's too greed. There's too much di- uh, difficulty there. You need to have buffers in place to stop people. And one of them is maybe 10 years. You have to have a held a role doing so-and-so for 10 years. They're too greedy. They don't want to have 10 years without being rich. So they're not. Yeah. And th- the money takes the power out and if you have then got people in you've implemented that and you have a system now where people have got in and done that they will then govern business so that you can't have the corruption in the business the big businesses will create uh, they will pay their taxes and things like that but you need to get the people in there that are decent people, which means get rid of the money and they have to be people that have lived a life in that way. You can't go be one of these sort of Reese Mogg characters who went to uni, got his political degree, came out, got a job leafleting for one of the governments, and then that's it, rocketed into politics. You yeah, can't I agree. have that. You I, can't I, have I think, that. Um, yeah, I think with, you know, as with any job, because being a member of parliament is a job, mm. you've got to show demonstrable experience. But then other people would argue, and I'm not necessarily agreeing with them. Um, but, but the experience say, well, is playing politics. That's what their yeah, experience yeah. is. And that's what yeah, you yeah. don't want in there. You can't no, have but that. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I think actually it's quite a sensible idea that to say you've got to have these qualifications to be an MP. But then other people might say, well, that's not democratic because I might not have had the opportunities to to go and do whatever. No, but you can is. because the, the, my rule, I've bring, bring it in, my rule is you need to have 10 years service, whatever age, 10 to 20 to 30, 30 to 40, whatever. You need 10 years previous history in a role of whatever we say, you know, a, 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 a fucking whatever. Um, Interesting. Do you know what I mean? Like, say, enough. if you're a single parent, how would you then get into... No, no, but you can't. And then ru- there's bigger problems and... than dealing with. Yeah. There's always going to be issues with anything. But the, mm-hmm. you, I, you can say, well, I was born in a council estate. I didn't go to Eton. Well, fucking that exists now. What are we doing about that? Nothing. Oh, no, no, so, I agree. But what so there, are issues, so there are issues. There are always going to be. There's always going to be some people who. Yeah, but there is now. By any, That's yeah, not but solving any anything. System. Yeah, but you're, you're swapping one potentially. You know, you are swapping one. Uh, system that does margin that does marginalise people for one that is p- potential. But I agree. I th- think you've got no, a framework. A single, a single at last, mother. At last, he's got a framework. A single, not ma- just a like, single really mother change. Yeah. could be a teacher and then move up to headmistress, and then ten years of that, and then that's that's not stopping anybody. What is stopping them is having to go to Eton or Oxford and yeah, spending yeah, yeah. thirty thousand pound a year that your parents mm. haven't got because you've grown up in a council state where parents aren't educated. Mm. That is stopping you. So the problem exists. So we until you get those people in place, you need rules now to get those people into those jobs that only care and let all the other ones die off 
And then when they're in power, they implement the rules that should have been there to start with, which then takes care of business. And that's then you push all the greedy people to the side of society. Um, so it's it's I, simple. I swear there was a, st a statistic. Um, I think in 97, when Tony Blair first won, won, won his first term, um, I swear like 60% of all the MPs elected in that parliament went to Eton. Yeah. So not just public school, but one specific yeah. public school. Yeah. There's a thing, um, yeah, actually one of Stephen Fry podcasts, he says about people that got into the high end of politics and he did the statistics and it was ridiculous. They'd either gone to one or the other of these schools hmm. and, and they're bred and they're, they're broken from the start in that they've been given privilege. So they don't understand what you're going through. And they're telling you what to do. Like it's it, it's a cartoon. It's like insanity. It's actual insanity. And there's no point, like you were just saying, Charles, which is where well, we need to put things in place and we need to do this and that. You go, no, you're wasting that was, time. That was, me, that was me saying that. No, it's Charles. Was you were saying about? Were um, you? Yeah, the American thing when you're talking about the police. You said, um, oh, "I always yeah. assume right, 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 right. But you yeah, said, "Stop talking about these little tweaks here and there. It's gone. That's gone. That's another yeah, generation." Yeah, you're not going to get people to change over. I know. I agree. But you're Which not is good. Yeah, people because and that's why overnight. you need the Gordian. It's the solving the Gordian knot. That's what it is. Stop talking about. Well, if we do this, and if we twist that bit, and we pull it. No, it's the Gordian knot, and you don't want to accept it. You don't accept. Yeah, but that's the, this is almost the mantra of every uh, every dictator. Is I'll come in and I'll smash the system and I'll do it. No, see, well, every revolutionary, to be honest. No, but yeah. this is why I'm saying I worry that I get quite fascist. That's how it starts. Mm. So that's we, that is a, that is almost no, a fascistic thing. Yeah, of going, but I'm saying yeah, it is. They're saying I've got the answer. This is the solution. I cut the thing. No one gets a say in it. And this yeah, is what no, it's no, going to no. be. But that's fascism. the system that I'm putting in place, I can't benefit. Like I can't do that. Yeah. So that well, it's the, the a system. A lot of people, a lot of people no, no. say that because they say, oh, "I'll, I'll put the, the, we're going to do this, we're going to do that," and I have to be in charge, and no one's allowed to question me. No, well, that's just fascism. You get in charge and say, "Right, I put things in place, even though it goes against what I can do, mm. and I don't want no part of it." That's what you do. There's, uh, people have done it in history, walked away from power. So um, that's just not many. I agree that direct action does seem to to work. Um, for instance, if those guys hadn't of and gals who hadn't um, have chopped down that statue and chucked it in the uh, in the river in Bristol, that statue would still be there now, and we'd still be talking about it. People would still be going, "Oh, maybe we should take it down. Maybe we shouldn't." You know, if people hadn't have threatened, well, I suppose people have threatened to um, uh, uh, get rid of the one um, the the road statue in Oxford, and it's still there. Because people are still talking about it. If someone went and tore it down, then it would just be gone. You know what I mean? But it's the it's, it's, they'd it's, probably it's, put back up another one, wouldn't they? It's like uh, well, maybe they would not. It's it's be. just it's it's just this trained monkey thing of well, it's just the way it is. No, it's not. You're just choosing no, to yeah, let yeah. it. You're bowing down. You're too cowardly to say we fucking need to do something. One generation's gonna have to take a punch on the fucking nose to change everything for future generations. Stop talking about the new thing i get sick to bloody death of oh like with the, the the obama thing oh we're gonna have a black guy in charge oh margaret thatcher was a woman in charge let's just get to the gay guy thing let's get a gay woman in out of the way let's get a transgender and just one generation after next wasting time because the system's fucked so stop yeah. saying this type of a person oh no it's this type you're wasting fucking generations it's you can't accept people are gonna have to get pulled out of buildings that's but it. how Tough. how can how can america be racist they elected obama yeah check and mate there we go Boom. he's got yeah he's got yeah there. <laughs> yeah but i mean he was just a pawn to sort of, it's like the royals I'm, getting married I'm to what's joking, his name oh, look, joking, man, give them a yeah. give them somebody with dark skin that'll shut them up for a while She's the the new Diana. What's her name? Megan. Megan Markle. Yeah. Who got her in power and it's like slagging her off straight away. Oh, well done. Yeah. Mean, get, get rid of her. But we're, we're, look what we did. Yeah. You know, leave us alone for another couple of generations. No, we're not. <laughs> I can't leave them alone because fucking I, 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 old Uncle, uh, Uncle Andrew stepped into the breach. <laughs> with what his was fucking, happening there? Well, you know, Prince Andrew. Not Please tell me you know about this, Theo. No, what? Well, the Prince Andrew... Um, the Peter Farber uh, thing. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Well, I don't His friendship with Jeffrey Epstein and um, that bizarre interview. If you have never seen it, you should definitely watch it. Well, it's it says he so explains himself in when he says stuff. You go, oh, this is a delusional liar. He doesn't know no. how bad he looks. He's telling us he's guilty by everything. I don't sweat. Pictures of him sweating. 
Yeah. Um, but then some some people that that's all that they need. They just that it doesn't matter how bizarre the explanation the lie is or how surreal or nonsensical it is. It's just like they're like, well, he doesn't sweat. He said he didn't sweat, therefore he doesn't sweat. It doesn't but that's, matter. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's the, like the Trump thing and the Brexit yeah, thing and the yeah. whatever. It's you just have to it doesn't matter how just insane the explanation is. You just give an explanation and people were like, Okay, that's fine, yeah, that's an explanation. But it, it's their privilege that you go, Why are they so stupid? Why do they think people believe Believe this because they're so delusional about their own privilege that they don't understand well, it. Because you can they see used through to people this. telling them they're right all the time. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Exactly. That's all their thing is. Yeah, so they can't even accept the well. Surely I'm saying it. There's the reason. You go, no, these aren't stupid people. I know you think that they're dumb and idiot and oaf and just the unwashed masses. They're actually seeing through this, and you're embarrassing yourself. But they can't see it because they're so privileged. So it's just oh, I don't know what. We, uh, well, I do know what we need to do. But I'm, uh, <laughs> I don't want to start counters. Start not on, going not off online, and... not online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I've said enough. You, you, said... you want everyone to give everyone a big hug. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, just for, within... for the record. For the record, Theo. Yeah, and then wash your hands with antibacterial whoever's, whoever's, Yeah, whoever's listening. Oh, actually, yeah, you can't hug anymore still. Can, can, you, hug, hug? can you shake hands? Mm. No. Nope. No, people are elbow bumping and I'm not doing the, 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 the fu- no fucking way. No fucking way. I'll <laughs> yeah, do nothing. I'll do nothing over that. Yeah, I'm just just a polite nod. Good goal. Good game. Bow. Good game. How about a little bow? I remember yeah. somebody I saw somebody doing that a couple of days ago, the elbow thing, and I made a mental note, don't ever look that fucking stupid. <laughs> don't ever do that don't ever do that it's not funny it's not clo- 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 quirky it's a fucking idiot do nothing um, I'd sooner handshake and then wash my hands without antibacterial uh, hand wash that's it I wonder if antibacterial um, no it's not it's anti it's alcohol I wonder if you could wash your hands in alcohol mouthwash we, need, we need more information here what we I'm just having an internal about? conversation no, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. is he talking to, there, to us fine, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Charles how you been <laughs> I, yeah I heard somebody in my head go back to the show there's a show going <laughs> no I mean because have you seen the price these little bottles of antibacterial and the £3.50 you go how can you not be embarrassed by put a price on that on there but I was one I, I bought one that's why they're doing it yeah I bought one 39p like I swear it's 39p in like uh, Lidl um, literally like January or February. What, well, you got to be careful is, is that, because that, a lot of them, is, the wordings on them, that it's just yeah. antibacterial. It doesn't mean anything. It's got to be alcohol over seventy yeah, percent alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Over seventy percent, though. Uh, it's very strong. Because some of them say alcohol, and it's like thirty-four percent. You go, well, that's no use. It doesn't. That's not going to work. Well, just washing be... the vodka again. But I, that's <laughs> what I was just thinking. I wonder if you used like a, a, a alcohol mouthwash, <laughs> just as an emergency thing. Just it's better than nothing. Mm. Wash well, just yeah, yeah, exactly. Just wash. But it's hands. like zero point five alcohol, so I don't think it's not yeah, going to do much. Maybe not. Yeah. Did I tell you about the girl I knew whose mum got kicked out of a, um, a home for drinking, smuggling in um, alcoholic mouthwashes or mouthwashes with alcohol in them. She was I an alcoholic. I mean, there's so many horror stories to keep up with. I she, don't remember this. She one, was but... an alcoholic. Uh, so this girl, she's in care, and her stepmom. Uh, I don't want to get too specific. Her stepmom was in her, the one that was supposed <laughs> to be looking just after don't name her. Names, like, yeah. That's all you need to do. So she was in a. Um, she got let out of prison, and she she had to go into one of these homes, like rehab home things, whatever you call mm. them, halfway house. As long as she didn't drink, but they used to lock them in after seven, so they wouldn't go out drinking. But her mum got kicked out because she'd snuck in a load of um, mouthwashes with alcohol in them, down in them instead. Like she was an alcoholic, proper alcoholic. Yeah, that's that's proper, isn't it? That's your guiding yeah. like your mum. You're not mucking around there. <laughs> your mum's. Yeah. I mean, you've come out of care. And this is the person that's been put in charge of you has now gone into jail and come out. I mean, you, you're fucked from this. You got no fucking chance. Forget you. Yeah, it's, like, uh, it's like that William Burroughs bit where I read some William Burroughs story and he was uh, going on about how he sewed it. He had a pin in his jacket and had a little bit of heroin in there. So if he ever got arrested, he'd be able to jack open one of his veins with it. I mean, it's just a short story but it was really graphic and i was like Ugh. jack open one of his veins with a with a pin and then just like jamming heroin in there oh god well after he got arrested yeah 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 so he could survive the night i know uh, somebody who took they thought i might not get out nice. i might get out but i might not like he's went for a court case so he just stuck some uh, um, coke in his pocket just like i said like, one last blast just in case like they take me down yeah it's so, just... you know, on. He's on the stand, like gurning, and no, he hasn't, he hasn't yeah, taken rubbish. it at that time. He said, "I have okay. it just in case they do take me down." I was just sort of just do, just nip under the <laughs> yeah. His thing was like, "Give a fuck, right, back on it." Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, you're not going to do it there on the pew, <laughs> lads, 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 lads. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Rip his shirt off, Wee, yeah. big belly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bit of that, he slags. <laughs> but that's for the Sun newspaper. 
yeah, exactly. um, what I was going to say about uh, Jay, I was going to say something about Porkless. I can't remember what it was now. Um, what did we talk about just before jail, drugs, jail? God, this is, this is, where, those, this is yeah, where all the hits to the head have come in, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, forget that. Yeah, yeah well, anyway. Um, how long have we been going for? Do you, to, do you need to uh, pop off for a second, Charles? Yeah, I need to go for quick piss. Oh, go on, pop okay. off. All right, go. Go and powder your nose. I mean, we were just quite happy with pop off. You know, rather <laughs> the actual, <laughs> yeah, uh, for, uh, medical <laughs> explanation. Yeah, exactly. This is uh, this is where we pop in the just whole. Just empty my urethra. On there. Well, oh. I was just thinking. I just I, I gave him the bail, bail out of like, oh, do you just need to quickly pop off, Charles? Yeah, you should have been anything. Could have been anything. Is that your? Like, nope, is, that your is, that your, is that your doorbell going? Oh, oh, <laughs> I hear <laughs> your I hear your mother calling you to help her with her embroidery. <laughs> and he comes out with tissues. While his hands like, yeah. <laughs> just like, oh god. Oh god. I, I remember. I was in. Um, uh, I, I suffer the indignity of using a public toilet oh, to God, come off the motorway. And, um, was this recently? Using, or? Yeah, yeah, well, a couple of weeks ago. Most people are quite over the top. Everyone's drying their hands and washing them and throwing mm. the tissues and all that. I was like that before anyway. I yeah, yeah. Like, oh. But this guy came in and I had a piss. And um, where I was stood, I sort of did my hair, washed my hair. He was obviously taking a shit because I could hear him. I'm nice. washing my yeah. I'm washing my hands. You know. I'm washing my hands. Either. And then I, somebody called, and I picked up the phone, and I and I thought, oh shit, I'll just text them back. So I'm still in the toilet texting. He walked straight out out the door. Nothing. Oh, what an and this animal! Is, this That's is appalling. this is like during. We're not talking COVID. about you, Charles. Hey, he's back. This is during COVID. This is like just in, so, no, no. Sorry, that there's hell. no. It doesn't matter. Like just as a human being. Sorry, Charles. We were just discussing uh, that Theo was in um, a toilet. Uh, unlike you, during your public toilet visits, he was not propositioned yeah. uh, by by a gentleman caller. Um, no one tried to sell was, him on fire. No one no, tried no, to sell so, him uh, like a car. Yeah, yeah. Someone no, basically was, got a. Guy come in, took a shit, walked yeah. out, didn't even wash his hands, and that's during the COVID thing. I mean, as well. just, just like right, what, but what, like you. Just, but I like, was there. That how you? How can you fucking do that nowadays? Like, and not, and I was taking a shit, knowing somebody's there, and just walk straight out. But just like, own your hands, like I mean, and the thing is, he was foreign as well. Yeah. He was foreign. Have, I'm gonna... not going to say what nationality he was because I knew the accent. <laughs> no, but it annoyed me that you should. You should be even more respectful. You should. That I'd be more wary. If, like, if I was overseas, I always speak better English. I don't know why. It just kicks in. Just I'm trying. I feel so like why do we have to put up with this then. No, but, but I just thought <laughs> while you're here, surely you'd be more like be a bit more respectful. Like, you well, just no. It's not even about like why have you got like no, it's, particles it's of shit on your hands yeah, that you're walking around with. That, and the COVID, and like, surely that must have. Oh, I literally. Felt I it. had a go. I had a go at a guy. There was like a big queue, right? So there was like one cubicle. There's a big queue, literally like me. No, there's a guy in front, and like you know, a bunch of guys, but three or four guys behind. Everyone's queuing up to go for a shit. So the guy in front goes in. He's in there for about literally like ten minutes. Comes out, doesn't flush. Oh, what? He Why knows that there's flush? a queue. He knows it's not like oh, he didn't expect to be in here. Thought I could just go for shit and come out. Didn't expect anyone to be there. He knew that there was a queue, and they can't. And I was like, dude. I was like, bro, what's up? And he's like, whoa. Yeah. He's English. Well, he's like, whoa. But why did and he I was not like, flush? I was like, could you? You didn't flush. And he's like, oh, so fucking what? Uh. I was like. I was like, thanks, thanks. I was like, nice one, nice yeah. one. That's really, really nice. Really that's, nice a, that's a garbage person. I was like, what is wrong with you? And he's like, what? What's the problem, mate? Fuck you. If it's a skanky yeah. looking toilet, like, I'll use my foot to flush it, but I'm still, I, I'm never. But not why would flush. you? I've never heard of a human being not flushing. I've heard of not washing their hands, but to I not know you flush. Do, to be fair, you do see plenty of times you're like, well, someone's left me a fucking Christmas log. That, that's the thing. Is Yeah, sometimes I, I sometimes but to I do go it when you place. know people are there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's like literally taking the piss. Like, I'm just. But yeah, just get uh, off his toilet. And he humor. ruins the, he ruined the place as well. Oh, I was thanks, like, I was like, oh. <laughs> Right, let's talk about. Theo was <laughs> trying to pull the cord there. Yeah, yeah. he was like, literally, like, let's not talk about toilets. Like, let's and then you're like, and by concept. the way, one last thing, he ruined the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what have I been? I've been watching that. terrible films again. Oh, oh, really? what have you been Here we go. Here we go. Here's my list. I have watched Wheels of Fire, which is a racing film. No, it's Which a Mad Max, a Italian Mad Max. No, it's, it's oh, so not American off. Mad Max. Yeah, yeah. rip off. Um, that just suddenly just goes, it starts off just being Mad Max too, and then it just shits the bed and just goes completely bizarre. Starts having like weird underground Morlock people and psychics. And I'm like, and a, um, a Filipino little person who just speaks and goes, eh, 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 eh. like, and 
I don't know why. It's not explained. They appear to be Is this America. a modern film or is this some weird, it's, like... It, it, I think it's, like, late 80s. It looks like it was made in the 70s, but it, I think it's about 88 or something. It would um, have been... The bad films were that sort of 88 bit where people could afford video cameras that really shouldn't have video cameras. Do you know what I mean? You're <laughs> like not a filmmaker, but you could effect. basically yeah. afford it now. Yeah. <laughs> and, like... and uh, Okay, there's a couple of films. There was, like, Alien, Aliens... Predator and Mad Max, and like for some reason, a couple of a bunch of B movie filmmakers saw them and just went mental and just started making knockoffs of them. There's some really interesting films out there. What else did I watch? Galaxy of Terror, which had James Cameron do the production design on, which oh, is what? nonsensical and quite bizarre. <laughs> it just this keeps is introducing. Pretty, this is very early, is it? And what uh, did he do on it? Eighty two. Uh, he was the production head of uh, production design or whatever. It's so quite it looks, high up. Yeah. yeah, it looks like an alien film. It looks really good for for like a B movie. Like the sets and the props and stuff, kind of interesting, kind of cool. But the story is just so. Is this a like, Roger Corman film? Is it is. A, a, yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it is Roger Corman. Yes, no, it is. And it has a, a maggot rape in it. That's what it's famous for. But I don't even know what to say. I, I don't, don't know. I don't want. To, I kind of want to know, but I also I'm aware that other human beings are listening yeah. to this. So just go find it's out. It's available on YouTube. That's available on YouTube. Galaxy of Terror. It's actually quite. It's all right. It's been movies go. Uh, apocalyptic. No, sorry. Apocalypse Warriors of the Sun. Good I one. mean, that kind of sounds like a porn like parody of like a proper film. <laughs> yeah. what, why of the sun? Is this like a Japanese uh, thing or something? I don't know. Interestingly enough, it had about half an hour's footage from Wheels of Fire. Because I watched Wheels of Fire and then I watched Apocalypse Warriors of the Sun, which is by the same writer. And I was like, hang on a sec. I recognise lots of this. It's <laughs> <Is> just <this laughs> like when Bruce shit? Lee died and they just keep reusing yeah. films. Yeah, but like, yeah. Cut oh, the easy. face. They just put the, the face, face on, on the mirror. Oh, yeah, it just... Oh it just <laughs> <laughs> that's what is that? Is, ga- is it Game of Death? Is that where they have the body double? Yeah, the body double. Yeah, because yeah, he, died well, during Game of yeah, Death, he, got, he died during it, so they only have yes. the fight scene at the end. I think they, yeah. they have some scenes at the beginning, but it's really odd because I think their cover for it is that he gets shot in the face or something. Yeah, yeah, so something yeah, yeah, happens yeah, yeah. to him, so that's why he looks death? slightly different. No, that was and... something. I swear that was in the, uh, another one because Game of oh, Death. Oh, was it maybe? I think that was the, they. They did have some foot because yeah, that's they did I mean, die the game, of, game De- of death. Yeah, game of death. Game of death. Yeah, yeah, game of death. They do have um, fight yeah, footage. I thought the, the, the I thought the getting shot in the face thing that was a, the film that came after was it? Yeah, was that game of death too? Yeah, I think he had a crash uh, helmet on as well. Like, oh, oh, there's there's some weird reason why they they keep covering his face. It's almost like the Austin Powers thing of you know like there's a vase covering his face <laughs> when he walks into the room that kind of shit. Um, yeah, and Game of Death 2 is nonsense. Maybe, I think you're right, I think it is Game of Death 2. It's nonsensical because their cover for it is that, oh, he got shot in the face and that's why he's a totally different looking person. That's why, Apart from the end scene when height, he's back to like, Bruce Lee again. Yeah, yeah. But there's no like, oh, yes, yeah. he had surgery and now he looks back to normal again. It's just, he's now it's Bruce Lee again. Yeah. It's like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, sorry, Charles, you're terrible films. No, no. Yeah, terrible films. Uh, what are, what, Robo War. <laughs> Says what it is. No, no. What's that no, about, it, Charles? <laughs> genuinely, it's about a. It's about an alien. It's predator. It's just okay. Predator. It's literally predator. Well, why is it? Where's the robo? Uh, he's kind of a robot alien dude, but he just goes. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. He just constantly he goes targeting, targeting, acquire, targeting, and he just mumbles kind of weird robot dialogue in ADR just all the time, and it's and it's literally almost scene for scene like a, a predator. They they. It's, it's, do you know, it's the, word, do you know the, the word robot comes from the uh, Slovenian to mean slave? I don't I didn't know, know that, yeah. actually. Yeah. I was thinking when they rise up, they'll be going, yeah, you've literally named us slaves, you yeah, fuckers. Yeah. You, you um, eaters. <laughs> what else? I watched Slithers, which was very boring, except for the police chief, who was bizarre in it. I watched Mutant Forbidden World. Last night. I mean, again, sounds like another masterpiece. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not as much fun as it's as it was, but like everyone just kept. It had a couple of scenes because I was thinking, huh, there's been no nudity, and it's like half an hour in, and then just people just get naked for no reason. <laughs> and I was like, just okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, how are they going to include nudity in this? Because these types of films always have. Nudity. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> they just do. You're going to have like a head explosion, some nudity, probably an alien running around, people screaming. So there's certain <laughs> things. Um. What else? Oh yes, um, Tomb Raider as well, which was effing terrible. Is this the new Tomb the Raider new with one. Alicia Vikander? Yeah, the new one. Yeah, and it had Dominic West and Walton Goggins in. 
So, and, and just waste. An- Angelina Jolie, or whatever her name. No. She did the first two, didn't she? Yes. Is this I'll a reboot load. or a remake? It's a reboot. Re- yeah. re- mook? Can't it's even speak reboot. anymore. Re- yeah. And it just, uh, it. Okay, you, a Tomb Raider film, right? What do you want? You want some tombs being raided? I mean, you, I, yeah? I don't, I don't particularly want it. I'll be honest. But, <laughs> like, yeah. but, okay, but yeah, ideally, if we, if we're yeah. gonna want one. Ideally, I want an Indiana Jones knockoff, and I just want a bit of action and stuff, and you know, baddies being <laughs> and like maybe some bit supernatural crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah bit yeah. nudity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want all these things. Does, uh, does she get nude? No. Oh, okay. Um, well, at least they've got. At least they've got some kind of decency of not like, God, this is a shit. Let's just get her to get her tits out. Um, it would have made it more interesting. I, I genuinely it made <laughs> those sake, Charles. It, it made those Angelina Jolie films look. Good. It made me. It made me w- look back and go. Oh, I wish I was watching one of them because at least they were fun. You know what I mean? This was gritty and realistic and dark and. I'm just. I was watching it, and I was like, "Who is this aimed at? Like, what? what like, mm. what's the target? What, like, audience here? Like, it, it is. It is weird when they do the whole dark and gritty thing because you go, know, that's not. You know, that's because they did that with a Flash Gordon TV series a few years about. Well, I say a few years back. Probably talking twenty years, where everyone were. You know, it was all trying to be serious, and everyone was dressed Flash in like. Gordon. Yeah, it's. I think it did like one series, two series, oh. and it's. I watched about five minutes and went. This is made by someone who knows nothing about Flash Gordon. Like yeah. they, I think they tried to sort of Battlestar Galactica it oh, for, um, okay. yeah, uh, for okay. Flash right, Gordon. Right, but, you right, go, yeah. but Battlestar Galactica did start the first the 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 feature film they made that ended up that they then split up into I think three or four episodes. Oh. That's quite gritty. Like that has the massacre of the human race. Yeah, you're getting people yeah. getting their head chopped off. There's people being fed to mutant. But it's really quite dark. I mean, it's a really odd film. I think that's probably why it didn't work and why they made a TV series. Because you're talk like of, talk of oh. things being dark. Have you turned the lights off where you are? Uh, no, this is just uh, this is dark. Just, isn't yeah, it? I know. It's suddenly, I'm really, just... what's, the, that, what's uh, that horror film where I'm going to declare the, the intifada or something? Hold on, let me. Just, I'm going to switch my lights on. What's Unfriended? Like a... Yeah, that was yeah. like, yeah. oh, no, quite good, actually. I was talking to someone <laughs> else about that. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of good fun. Yeah, I didn't see I'm not watching any of those. Just... Yeah. I wish I'd never seen... Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. What happened there? Did you, did, did there the should have bulk... been someone behind me when I turned it back Yeah, on. should have said <laughs> something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for people who are listening only, I was uh, plunged into darkness gradually, um, and I did not think... I probably should have just gone... No, oh, it's gone dark outside would be left now. Alone. Yeah. alone. It, it, it just went probably... quick because it was starting to get dark and then all of a sudden mm. it went like pitch black in there. But is that not a window into... behind you there, uh, yeah, uh, that's a Charles? No, Charles. Oh, me? It's no, dark that's outside. That's a cupboard. Oh, that's I thought that was a sun coming of his, through. Uh, yeah. Of his magnificent oh, okay. uh, yeah. solid silver extractor fan. Yeah, and there's the extractor fan and the microwave. Yeah, yeah solid silver microwave. Yeah. So where you are, Andrew, that's your window. It's still light outside, is it? Yeah, but it's. I mean, it's uh, again fascinating for the listeners. This, is, <laughs> but this is. I guess weird. This is what. What is it? Dusk, isn't it? When the a sunset. I couldn't think of the word. It's not, I was like, it's not yeah. dawn. Yes, Don't say um, dawn. Yeah. It's not dawn. It's the other one. Um, yes. So I can't even remember where we are now. I'm derailed by the darkness. Yeah, we were. T- yeah, sorry. Tomb um, yeah, and just films that are. Yeah, when you try and do the dark, gritty thing, you go. But this is, you know, because it works for Batman, but not for Superman. Superman is, yeah, joyous, yeah, 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 and yeah. why is he grumpy and dark and gritty? And yeah, things? no, very, very true. Like some things you can do, some things you you can do interesting twists or different mm. uh, things with the the concept of the premise. You can stretch the premise, stretch the concept a bit, and other things just really, if you try and alter them at all the fun, like the fundamental premise of them at all yeah. just completely falls on its face and like there doesn't seem to be a, hollywood's been trying to do a lot of that lately and some things really haven't worked you know well yeah. there are there any summer blockbusters that are supposed to be coming out or is that just everything knackered because of the uh, uh cinemas cinemas are going to be open again yeah but, but what i mean is they've not been able to film anything have they so you know, uh, it's going to be well, a lag no i think uh, there's going to be because everything's delayed so that's all it is is everything's shunted back but i mean a lot of films are they're starting on the third jurassic well jurassic world oh, so the sixth on. was that sixth jurassic park it's film? going to be the same cgi that's just fine made up I, yeah, but i'm like people say you know I, they're not they've not been have great you seen that jurassic world. have you seen that second one but i i quite enjoyed it because i was just like wow oh, someone just went here's no. half a here, here's half a script <laughs> but i don't know how to finish it <laughs> yeah oh, it's a, i've got a second half of this other script lying about <laughs> yeah. fuck it let's yeah. just mash them together yeah i quite they, enjoyed yeah. that just they because of that their minds they're like okay yeah. we've got we've got two different ideas they're like oh we can't pick between them 
Just smash them together. <laughs> That's what I mean. I quite liked it. In the cinema. I just, oh, I mean, my... obviously it was me totally, um, totally taken out of the movie, as it were. But I just went, okay, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> they just for people who've not, um, I mean, I imagine a lot of people have seen it because it made an enormous amount of money. Uh, so in Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom, which is the shittest title, oh, um, they go back to the island. Again, because the the volcano that no one had mentioned up until this point is now about to explode. The trailers sold it that that was essentially the movie with maybe bits back on back on uh, the US. Uh, but that was essentially the whole movie, wasn't it? Was was sold as, hey, they've got to escape. Yeah, but there's a volcano like and all the dinosaurs. Yeah, 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 but, like yeah, yeah. It's world. very much like the Arthur, yeah. the actual, you know, the actual Arthur Conan Doyle Lost World. Um, oh no, I was talking about the Jurassic. Park oh, Lost sorry, world. yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, sequel because they go yeah, there and so. catch all the dinosaurs and then. Piss off yeah, back. exactly. Yeah, it's a similar. And then idea. the dinosaurs escape. So in fact, yeah. it's exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. Who would have thunk it? Yeah. Um, but then. Uh, then they just go and horror horror house haunted movie, yeah, yeah. but with a dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. And for some reason, I some reason these dinosaurs are so good because what this genius idea is, you get a gun and you point the gun with the laser targeter at somebody, and then the dinosaur goes and kills that person. And as they point out in many satirical kind of trailers and spoofs, why don't you just shoot the fucking guy yeah. if you've got the laser targeter on him? Anyhow, but yeah, it's just they just went. It's like that. Um, uh, I can't believe I'm talking about this, but Chronicles of Riddick, you know, the seat of the Vin Diesel film. Uh, oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's like three movies mashed together. Yeah, sort of that's the... weird. They had all the Death Eater people. Or Death yeah, people they've, or they've got this weird sort of sci-fi opera thing, that world building thing going on. Then they've got um, Space Bounty Hunters and a Prison Escape. And you go, But that bit's quite... But you go. This is a different movie now. Is that the one with this the is... sun? They're on the planet surface, and it gets yeah, with the sun. It, the sunlight yeah. has to. Yeah, again, um, uh, as a very quick premise, is that this middle part is that it's quite interesting. They have to escape from a pl- prison planet, but it's like Mercury, so one part of it is safe, and then, but as soon as the sunlight sunlight um, reaches you, you're you're fried to a, uh, you know yeah. to cinders. So you go, okay, cool. We've got the ticking simple clock. Pre- we've got the premise. Yeah. Got you go, it, cool. that could yeah. have been a movie, but instead you've got it's bookended by this weird, you know, the galaxy is at stake and these blah blah blahs from ancient times threatening to open whatever the you know the usual bollocks. And you go, this is just two movies. <laughs> you just so it's different to Jurassic World where they got two halves. This one they went, yeah. well, we've got the opening third and the closing third of one movie, <laughs> and we've got the middle like, third of another. Talking yeah. about the filmmaking, it's like what we was talking about the, the the webcams at the beginning. You go. I don't know how these get made. How does this oh, okay. go from pass through hands? Like, yeah, this is. Um, there's got to be one person with common sense to go. No, you can't put this out. But it's, it's just about. It's just about delivering. So, uh, to put that into context, uh, dear listeners, we were talking uh, before the show. Uh, I have a stupid webcam. Oh, is that not? On no, the, no, was that we that did. On no, the we did well, we were talking about yeah, that. I feel we were talking about, about, about that in the. Are we sure? Oh, might not. I don't know. No, I don't sure. think so. Because we were, we yeah. Anyway, very, very briefly, in case we didn't, uh, I have a new computer which has got a built-in webcam. It's a key in the keyboard. You press it and it points up. So the idea is to make it extra secure. But the problem is, it's stuck. Up, the camera goes right up your nose. Like there's no way to. Why did you it. go for that anyway? Why? I didn't. I didn't know that's what it was. It said built-in webcam that's uh, shielded. So I assumed. Like, you know, may, obviously, clearly I'm an absolute cretin, is that uh, the webcam would be where every other webcam every other on planet yeah, Earth I'll, is. I'll put the top But bit, with, yeah, like, yeah, maybe some sort of sliding yeah. cover. Yeah, 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 yeah Flipped yeah. round. That's what I assumed. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so who, so we were discussing who, who signed off on that because clearly someone built it without thinking about that. Uh, then other people went, yeah, that looks good, like that person's boss. And then whoever has to, you know, Bob... Uh, Bob Huawei, because that's the laptop I've got, you know, Bob Huawei, goes, yeah, perfect, great, guys. We'll put this on the market. Do they do like, laptops who? then? Yeah, yeah, Huawei, yeah. They don't just uh, steal your information. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, they'll steal laptops. it from anywhere, uh, Charles. <laughs> well, my, <laughs> my point is everyone went, oh, oh, you're going to get robbed. I'm like, if they want it, if, what am I going to do? Be able to block the Chinese government from <laughs> accessing my laptop? How am so I going to do got, that? You've got to fight the power. Yeah, well, pff, they'll do it if they want me. It's like, um, no, if so I anyway, buy a... Oh, go on. No, 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 Karen Cove. No, no, it was, it was your side list. You yeah, it was, it was like... just like, yeah. So when you're talking about films, you know, it's, most of that is just about delivering the film on time because then the people, the executives, they all have bonuses related to making so it's just sure the, the film machine's hits is really... rolling forward yeah, and you can't be stopped. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So that's why you watch films and you go, where's why, why is this plot line 
that plot but it's not completely that abandoned. hard, is it? It's not that hard to do these things. Why are these people that are the professional writers? You could ca- give us any script. Yeah, but it's not. Give it's me not two the, hours. It's, no, no, and no, I'll no fix it's not it. the. It's not the writers. It's the. It's yeah. the people up top who are just. Everyone's going to interfere. You'll have some executive you've never heard of. You'll be writing on something. So the writers are sort of squashed in between yeah, everyone's yeah, lunacy. Just, they these, want. Yeah, you know, look at the films. You go. How many executive producers? It's, it's, because they all yeah, want their yeah, credit. Yeah. They all want their vanity thing. <laughs> and they, they all, all they they'll have to they'll have to, to to earn that credit, to earn their little paycheck. Oh, they will have, have to insert a thing. Oh, maybe can we have a scene where this person does this? Maybe yeah. can we make this here? Maybe we could have a car chase or she could get a tits. At. And it's just to get that just to earn that fucking executive producer. Yeah. Credit. I mean I quite are the you know I'm sure the the films that I've worked on, the, they're going to be. Charles is going to be like, I watched this really terrible film yeah, for yeah. six months. He's going, like, I'll be like, oh, yeah, 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 that sounds really awful. Oh God! Now, Who, as long as what? it's got a head explosion, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, up for it. Yeah, I think they've got, there's a couple of head explosions. Cool. But that someone's, was quite nice. Head turns to birthday cake, and I'm happy. Yeah. Basically, I think there's there's a honey trap kind of sequence, but there's no nudity in it, which I was quite in oh. one film, and then in another. But the other one, I've thought. But that's been really nice. It's you been could have written and, it in for Charles at least. Just so yeah, I could have just been like, and then she gets, that's it. It's just going to end with. She like, falls the, over the top. Yeah, the female off. assassin, she beats the boss and then she turns to the camera, just gets her tits out. <laughs> yeah. The thing Walks is, like out. somewhere <laughs> that's, a, that, I mean, I don't do much casting anymore at all, but so many times I just turn a page in a script and I go, and it's like, bum, 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 bum. And she gets her tits out. I mean, obviously they write it a little less blatant, but frankly, <laughs> not much less blatant than that. Yeah, and you just yeah. think, Oh, for Christ's sake. Like, it's just, you know, I like boobs as much as the next man. Yeah, well, no. But, you know, uh, it's just like, All women. really? Really? I know, like, I, jo- I joke, but yeah. I, I So it, many, it, yeah, so many scripts is like, yeah. oh, she gets ready in the morning, stops to admire herself in the, sh- in the thing, her body's so blah, blah, blah. And you go, what woman stopping in front of the mirror going and like put going like twirling around and going oh yeah ah. and what is this oh, telling us what? about the character do you know but you get that in so ah oh, it's really? all like it's a, well, there's always a, a little bit there's a woman written by a man who's never met a woman before basically. <laughs> yeah, or it's yeah. Always, and it's always the character description i'm like okay cool do you have any like character descriptions just to kind of give me an idea like more than what that and they're like but 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 like the men are always like he's got a sharp intellect and a uh, powerful negotiator for his years you bear, know, this bear massive long man, thing yeah. and then women it's like she's sexy with a hot body but not and she doesn't she doesn't uh, she'll show it off but not too much because she's not a yeah. slut and you're like right okay so bo- having big boobs is not a it's not a character trait <laughs> like can we please yeah, so you just get annoyed they're like i'm a professional writer i didn't get yeah to- so when i'm doing casting i'm like fucking hell like you, you know, know when uh, i watched the monty python thing the documentary they were actually saying that a lot of their scenes where they would just end, you know, it would just end yeah. halfway through a scene, something like would pop in. He said that was a lot of times that was because we couldn't be bothered to think of an ending yeah, and we they couldn't know how to. Pub. Endings are always the hardest and thing you go, to do for a sketch. Fucking hell, like again, the privilege would come back again. They could, they just but I think that also that does work to Monty Python and it's the, kind the show of, does, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they kind of leaned into that almost. Mm. Because no, you know, the sketches they, they will interrupt the sketches one another. Sketches overlap, yeah. and and sometimes no. Like, but it was the fa- I understand the ending is being quirky, but it's the fact he said no. A lot of those times we just couldn't be bothered to yeah. think of something, so we just went down the pub. I think there. that's I think that's slightly them being flippant and trying to be. No, like, I don't think so. I think saying I think that's more just like fuck. Because there's here. lots of lots of very funny sketches and lots of very uh, funny yeah sketches. Mostly they, they have a good concept and a good joke there, but then often they will go on too far too long. And like that is a problem, and they just don't know how to end. You don't, you don't know how they don't know how to escalate and give a twist or whatever at the end. They don't structure that. Some well, I'm not knowing where to end. I think we'll end there just before we do we become hypocrites. <laughs> yeah, we got to crash. We got to crash in with a random sketch. You going to the toilet should have been the end. Yeah. I was, it. It was. I thought that yeah. was it. I thought. I thought we finished there. What, it was debating. I was like. I was like. We're gonna. I was thinking. We're gonna finish anytime soon. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna go a bit longer. Like, swelling up. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Genuinely. I was like. Waffer thin. I was. Um, I felt I think, like. Um, an hour um, in next time. An hour in. We're gonna start giving you an excuse. Like, like, is that a doorbell? I'll be like, like, like oh, Charles, Charles could you um, yeah. could you go uh, Google that for me, but in another room, please, because your keyboard's really loud. That's what <laughs> we'll do. <laughs> it's like a. Uh, I felt like I feel like Violet from um, uh, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, she's too late. Yeah. Cool, yeah. <laughs> just like just, just to roll around. Wait, like, roll start to... turning. Does she turn purple as well? Or am I muddling? Yeah. She's my muddling. Which child is murdered? How? <laughs>
Did you do that to uh, yeah, uh, raspberry? Blueberry. blueberry, or raspberry, yeah. Yeah, raspberry. Yeah. Right, well, there you go. We'll end there. Because uh, well, <laughs> unlike the Monty Pythons, we do know how to end this show. <laughs> <laughs> we will wrap it up. So that was it. So Charles is feeling better. That's good. Everyone yeah, the yeah. UK is happy. Cheers, Everyone's yeah. happy. A nation uh, uh, breathes a sigh of relief. Yeah. And, and goes uh, down the pub collectively, yeah. yeah. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew's got his nice little camera. He's doing well. He's got a little laptop yeah, exactly. there selling his, yeah. uh, selling, uh, his details to uh, Hawaii. Or whatever it's called. What's Hawaii. <laughs> what do you call it? The su- ha- nefarious ha- snooper, superpower. How is it um, called? Huawei. 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 Yeah, Huawei. Huawei. And uh, I'm me. So uh, there you go. We've all taken something. We've all learned a little lesson. I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the bloody show. You've had, you've had a lot there. You've had boobs. You've had not flushing toilets. You've had sausage well, sandwiches. Well, actually, you've, you've had, had not boobs because we're against gratuitous uh, nudity. Yeah. 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 We at the Villalucci podcast stand against <laughs> gratuitous news. Yeah. Yeah. And not flushing <laughs> toilets. Oh, God. <sighs> Poor thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You and share not, not like, flushing toilets. You try to think like every, human beings are equal and they're not. No, no. So it's just no. they're not at just all. Savages. They're massively apart. Oh, God. Right. Anyway, so we'll anyway. end on injustice. <laughs> I'm sure we end were on. saying we know how to end 20 <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> anyway, so, and on that bombshell, on that bombshell, we shall end, and we shall see you next week for the last Indeed. Skype uh, podcast. Yeah, so, anyway, yeah. peace out, and uh, is that how he does it? That uh, is. Don't tell him what it is. If you want to know what I'm doing now, you got to go and watch us on, oh, okay. on, on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, uh, forget what I just said and yeah. go watch right. on YouTube. Live long and, and prosper, anyway. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Right. Cheers. Ta-da. Wink, wink. Bye, 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 bye.